Is everyone ready? Yep. Oh, we should say before we start to to anyone watching, Neil is sadly unavailable tonight as he is at least seven thousand miles away. Got kidnapped by the USI. He did. I mean, and we wish him the best in getting his plan through Congress and all that, but you know, also, why isn't he here? <laughs> yeah, it's, at reason, it's like at Neil. What? At Neil? Why <laughs> though? But not even tag his actual Twitter. It's just like at Neil. <laughs> just at Neil. Just at Neil. <laughs> it ends up tagging like Neil Armstrong or something. He's like, I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, welcome back to the Warforged stream of electric. Oh, what a scream! Yes. <laughs> People in bed. I uh, am. You guys can sing now. <laughs> hey, I'm Amy. I play Zadora. I'm so excited to get back to this. This is I miss this. I mean, I play Resident Salt Fuel. I'm looking forward to get back into this. I'm Axel, I play Renan Redcastle, uh, my cat is currently Axel sitting plays on my character sheet. What? What, Andrew? <laughs> no, I, I thought Axel wasn't here. Oh, no, he's oh, here! He's, he was speaking. He was talking. You skipped the line. Yeah, my, my cat is sitting on my character sheet in my player's handbook at the moment, so... Such is life. I'm Thing, I play Thing. Let's do this thing. Great I'm job. Fucko, I play Fucko. <laughs> I'm, I'm Nora, I play Fucko. Welcome to the party. Adam. Welcome to the fun zone. And I'm Andrew and I play Virian. Oh shit, I haven't met Virian yet. Mm, have fun. Oh yeah. Please don't Anybody lick yourself you on my character Thank you, Cat. Has Virian met Virian then? <laughs> Mirror, mirror yeah. on the wall. I, Very I I have right? got to meet me. <laughs> when we last left our heroes, they had just finished um, a, a, a schly beanie into <laughs> a garrison. Fucking felony. Hey. I mean, like, that's kind of like standard practice of D and D. Mm. Like, so what? Aaron's dead. dead. Felony! Am I dead? No. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that was <laughs> Right, yeah, you guys broke in, stole some uniforms. I think we borrowed some uniforms. Stole some uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it went really well. Um, you guys... Yeah, surprisingly well. Yeah, it mm. went really well. You guys fucking knocked it out of the park. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, and you were essentially like, kind of like, oh yeah, we'll meet back up tomorrow night, do the thing, you know, dig this felony pit deeper, and you guys went <laughs> back to the... Was it tomorrow night? He said he'd be in touch. Yeah. His yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so, you guys went back to the tavern, had a nice sleep, and I'm pretty sure we ended on, like, you know, everyone goes to bed. I'm pretty sure we ended on mm -hmm. Esme giving Dave a birthday present. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before bed, he's up, Eddie, but... Yeah, it was very cute. Yeah, so, you know, the sun rises. Not that you can tell you're in a mountain. Um, <laughs> you can't see the sun there. You can assume the sun rises. <laughs> you you, you like assume the sun, the sun is, is a construct that definitely doesn't exist. Um, yeah, you guys wake, bake, shake, and there is a note left for you at the tavern. And what does it's, it say? It's addressed to Demla. Um, yeah, it's essentially from Felix, um, the Trabaxi member of the Crows, telling you um, that the original plan, like the break into, you know, this house, um, has changed slightly. As it turns out, that the information that they picked up on is indeed fake, and they're using like a dummy house. So they're like, you know, the not the public know of it because it's meant to be secret but like mm -hmm. they essentially were like oh we're gonna have it at the head house but in actuality it's at like this <laughs> other dummy house that's smaller more compact and that's where the meeting's going down so he's like yeah so like meet Derrida and near and like essentially like you know your map has been updated <laughs> um here to this evening make stock up on what you need like we need to get this shit in on the go we need to strike while the iron is hot etc etc 
Do, do we know exactly what this meeting is again? It is a meeting between the Jade Helms, well, the leader of the Jade Helms, and a very apparent rich out of towner who's like looking to like you know what's the word not fund them um not, have form an alliance there we go yeah invest that kind of thing kind of like i'm going to give you a heap of money <laughs> and you're going to continue doing heaps of shady shite and, and just, just, you guys well yeah, yeah sorry to ahead. recap we our plan is to do break what? in dressed up as the hand <laughs> ruffle oh, them up like looking yeah, like the hand yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like either interrupt completely or at least just kind of spy on who this like you know this question mark to make it seem like the hand is uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah yeah okay. exactly yeah yeah the hand are the hand are dirtying their hands <laughs> <laughs> when we get this note at the bar obviously we notice that esme isn't there so have we found esme's note yeah esme essentially has gone to follow up the lead she got a mysterious note and she's like guys they promise information. I'm going to follow up on it. I will catch up with you once it shouldn't take long. So it's a case of like if the if like you know quests run over a certain amount of time, it explains why you know Neil joins late. Sort of <laughs> but yeah, essentially gone to figure or get some apparent key information. Um, I tell the others yeah, I have to go yeah. powder my nose, and then I go up and find Dave. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know why I expect you to be like. And then I go to the bathroom and do a hair coat. <laughs> Boomer Thurman style. It's going to be some real, real character development. Yeah, Dave. Dave's oh no, in no, 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 no. with his. Um, yeah, Dave's in um, like Esme in his room, like kind of like just tinkering away with his like alchemy supplies. Okay, Dave, I need to ask you a favor, and if you don't want to do it, just say no. I won't be offended. You know how you have this weird psychic connection with Esme? Yeah. Is it possible? for you to give her a very, very mild headache. Um, <laughs> I've never tried. <laughs> if it's not possible, if you don't want to do it, that's grand. It's just she's annoyed me now. I want to know if it's feasible. <laughs> um, he's like, possible? I don't, I've never tried it. I will get back to you on that one. If her head explodes, I'm blaming you. I'm gonna go break into someone's house. Good man. <laughs> and then I go back downstairs. He's just sitting there with like all the flasks, and he's like, "Okie dokie." <laughs> I just I was thinking about it since he put the thing up. I was like, "She'd be annoyed at this." <laughs> <laughs> just sick of people running off. He, he, that's what he does. He like psychically gives her like gas. At like an <laughs> opportune moment of like negotiation. It's like spill the beans. <laughs> cool. Yeah, guys. You guys are having uh, an arguably ta tasty breakfast. Maybe? Why is it I arguably know? tasty? I argue. With I don't the know people. They're having like a delicious breakfast. It's a case of like I don't know. Flip a coin. Is your car and join? I'm fucking up. Be tasty for me because I've eaten properly in like a week. Darren it tastes good to me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you nailed that Rolian. It's it's got a perfect score. Lo love me Thank in that you. too. And there's like a long strip of lino <laughs> that I keep whipping back and forth because it's so fun. I just need to get rid of it back. Like, also, yeah, I guess if people want to like do the whole like this is Virian thing, they can. Or if it's just a like case of like should. yeah, we've chatted. So this is our new friend. Ciao. Um, I don't speak Dwarven? Um, okay. I was just, them. Um, how you say, it's, um, an affectation. I, I speak common. Okay, I speak that slightly better than I speak Dwarven. I don't speak, oh, I do speak Dwarven, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope, it says it right here. <laughs> I, I need to consult my character sheet. <laughs> no, it's like Olaf and the Stefano thing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I am Virian. <laughs> it's holding up and it's Tenchu on the back. <laughs> Virian is just it's just Tenchu in a wig. Oh my god. <laughs> 
he also has a bird. Maybe your bird and his bird can be friends. Um, this is Corvus. Corvus, this is... Who are you? Renan. Corvus, this is Renan. Say hello. Corvus nods. Oh, it's a smart bird. Technically not a bird. Alright. How does that work? It's, um... Oh, how you say, um... A spirit of a long-dead guardian. Oh, so it's magical. Yes. I don't think this was mentioned before. <laughs> Did I neglect to mention that? You may have, yes. Corvus is, Corvus is not, a be- uh, not a normal bird. So, can you... Do you have a, a like, a telepathic link with Corvus? It's Corvus a boy or a girl? Sorry, what was that? It's Corvus a boy or a girl? Um... I don't think spirits have a gender. Oh, alright. Um... Are they related to you, or is it just kind of like a... A general guardian thing? I don't know. I never asked. Corvus, are we related? He says he don't know. And he uses the pronouns, I assume? Well, I just sort of default to calling him he. Um, he hasn't complained yet. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Um, Minerva doesn't talk. She's actually quite thick. But she's a good friend. Okay. Where did you come from? Where's Tenchu? Where's Esme? Did no one tell you about Tenchu? God, I told you about Tenchu. You were very feverish, but I feel like I definitely told you. I don't remember anything from past three days. Oh. That's a shame, we had some good talks. (laughs) Alright. Shit. Gotta remember, gotta remember, gotta remember. (laughs) (laughs) Oh oh, oh my god, hang on, I've lost track of my cat. (laughs) I I wasn't gonna ask if that's you or Renan, because I was just like, he has so many animals, I would not be surprised if he just acquired a cat. (laughs) By the way, I I have a cat now. (laughs) He shows up with a bison, just like, yep. (laughs) This is a cat. This is a cat. His name is Mittens. Tenchu left. Alright. Why? Some irreconcilable differences with, um, David. Okay. I don't think he was comfortable. I won't, um, press the issue. He left a letter, you can you can read it later. Alright. Uh, where did Virion come from? Oh, Virian the Baron sent him. The Baron? Mm-hmm. Send him oh, that Baron, yes. Yeah. Hmm. That right. totally alive Baron. <laughs> I just like really, as an aside, like why. I'm gonna like really, really casually like whisper to Renan. He doesn't know he's dead. Don't say anything. Uh, um, Baron's dead. What? The Baron's dead. Do you not know that? Undead. Well, yes. Yeah, it undead. took a lot for me not to kill him again. I'm all very proud of you for that, Rizbit. Yeah, you're doing good. Two days later, Rizwick goes on a journey what, by himself. What kind of un- undead? Um, oh, the we good don't kind. know! The very helpful, know. not evil kind. No, no, no. As in, um, sorry, uh, is he a, a, a ghost or a leech? Um, or we're not... a vampire? He's not a vampire. Well, actually. No, is that no, a I ghost? Don't think I don't think so. <laughs> We we don't know. Yeah, we don't. We're because not qualified he didn't enough know, to answer that. So, did he know huh. he was dead? 
No, well, he knew he was dead. He didn't know what kind of dead he was. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that there's different kinds of dead. He's what? only mostly dead. Isn't that weird? You think there'd be only one kind of dead? You think it'd be specific? Like, alive and dead is a very binary system, isn't it? Mm. You're either Apparently alive or not. Laureate's neither. Oh, Jesus. See, when I kill something, I make sure it stays dead. You do a bang up job at that. And if it's undead, I make sure it stays dead for a second time. And thank you for that. So, uh, that's that illusion shattered, right. I guess. We, we, uh, we will need to deal with that at some point. Um, what do you mean, deal with? I mean. If it is a ghost, um, I would like to resolve its unfinished business as quickly as possible. I think that's down to the ghost. If the ghost wants its unfinished business to be resolved, it should be resolved. But well, it then... by definition, the unfinished business only tethers them to the plane because they want it finished. Mm. Does he have unfinished business? Well, perhaps. Well, what are you well telling perhaps we'll, yeah, what we're working toward is business. Hmm. Possibly, he was betrayed. It is um, very important to me that he uh, receives his final rest. All right. As long as we're not the ones killing him. Well, I mean, if... I, I specifically said I did not want to kill him. Oh, sorry, I sort of phased out. Not this Riz, but he just sort of phased out for a second. <laughs> well, look, sure. We've got a job to do now, so let's focus on that. Right, what are we do now? And then we can. Oh, did you not tell him that either? I, I mean, did. I told him. He, I, he, you in, mm. look. In his defense, he probably told me everything, and I just forgot. Okay. Coda, well, look. You, you know how how... bad at bringing people up to speed. No, let's not get into how bad Coda is at things. <laughs> your... I try so hard. <clears throat> I know okay. you do. So, you remember Derridan? No. And the big fellow who cut a man in half through a door. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hard um, to forget. And you know how we're trying... Hard to forget. You know how we're trying to get him in on our deal? So he'll work with us for this whole business we're up to. Uh, yep. Um, he wants to cause strife between the people who are in charge of Dagnum now. Well, they're not technically in charge, but they are in charge. And the Hand of Uria, because he reckons that if we disrupt that, it'll be easier for them to gain a foothold in places and, you know, viva la revolution. So to All that right. end, yesterday we stole Hand of Uria uniforms. I got you all. Today, we're going to go break into someone else's house and cosh it there. Izzy he sounds very excited. What? <laughs> She's so excited. Uh, did you at least steal me one? I got you one. Yeah. All right, let's go. Woo. Perhaps we should uh, do this under the cover of darkness, no? When people are asleep. <laughs> well, when is the deal going down? He did tell you to meet him that evening. Yeah. Like a case of like, you know, it's the mission in quotations. We'll begin at night time. It's just if you guys want to restock or need anything to like, I don't know what you might need for a beanie, considering you don't have a roll. <laughs> yeah. So, any, so any, any tools you reckon might give you a leg up? <gasps> what was that gasp of I still have the thing. Where did I write down the thing? What thing do you have? Uh oh. <laughs> Can I give Coda the thing? What the fuck is this in the back of my notebook? What thing you Dear do Renan, have? Dear Renan, please come to me. Oh, no, I know what that is. That's an IRL game. Does that tend to use little, like, fake love letters? <laughs> I From love that IRL so game. much. Um, it's not in my Renan notebook, so it must be somewhere else. I had a thing to give Coda, and I got too sick to give it to Coda. So can I do that now? Even though I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I mean, Joanna. Here is insert item here. I hope you like it. I'm fairly sure it was a Tinker's tools that are monogrammed. 
That's super cute. Like, it was. was that what it was? Yep. yep. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So I'm just gonna put them on the table and push them towards Kota. Sorry, I was eating, I couldn't reply. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, don't, this isn't a dramatic pause, I just got my mouth full. Literally, um, sorry. don't worry. So I have like a space dump of like greasy eggs, and then I get, <laughs> which is a really thoughtful gift towards him. What's this? Um, a present. It was your birthday and you got me a present. Yeah. So? I, I have a look at them. Are they super nice? I bet they better be nice. more expensive. <laughs> Darren's like, now they're shit. Yeah, they're, they're really like... Like... Shall I compare these? No, um, it's essentially <laughs> like, no. You know, tinker still, But, you know, polished metal. Yeah, poly like the metal is polished. The handles are a nice deep, you know, oak. Um, your name is engraved along them. Which Not name? Coda, Foco. Um, Foco? <laughs> it just has Foco oh, in the on it. You know, like, just like looking really at them, they look... cursive. Foco. Very... Oh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> like, like, looking at them, you can tell they're sharp. You know, like, they're solid. They don't blunt easy, that kind of thing. Coda just nerds out for a good solid three and a half minutes. He's just really admiring the craftsmanship. I'm gonna steal the scrambled eggs. <laughs> he would not notice if you took them like out of his hand right now. He wouldn't notice. This was the plan all along. <laughs> you just this wanted my steal his food. Second breakfast. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so nice. You're welcome. After right, so we're really gonna... good now. Oh, there's what? pressure. Oh, well, I pressure. So. It's not pressure. Just do what you want with them. I want to make a moving castle someday. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> make like right. a really big one. Right, guys, so is there a shopping list or should we just, like, you know, later that day, dot, 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 kind of thing. Who. You. Cody, you have good deck. Yeah. Wait, how do thieves' tools work again? I know, it's like, dex. we've been over this, if like, you're, four times. If you're trained times. in them, it's dex plus proficiency. If you're not trained, it's just dex. No, it's. No. It's a flat D20, no it's a flat D20, what, D20 and then sorry. you decide what ability is based on how you're approaching the challenge. That's it, okay. But without a proficiency, is it just a flat 20? Without well, proficiency, it's a flat 20, yeah. Mm. Do you know what's gas, though? We're planning the heist and our rogue's yeah. going to I know! Yeah. It's ridiculous! <laughs> I love it! It's so dumb! It's like, let's Try be stealthy! Let's do a stealthy break and entering mission! It's like, well, where's my shit gone? It's a case of, like, like, getting in is stealthy, but it is also much roughing up a heap of lads, like. <laughs> Alright. So, is there anything people need to pick up? Is there anything people want to do before we... Should, should we I would... Sorry. I would like to eat a lot of food. Right. Very Check. Beautiful. Should we get some sort of uh, replacement thieves tools to try and do this ourselves, or we're just going to break the door down? I mean, I'm pretty good at breaking doors down. Between you yes, and Rispid, I feel like nothing's gonna really stop us. That's true. But are we trying to be stealthy or are we trying to be... I... What are we trying to do exactly? What's the plan? We go in dressed up as the Hand. We interrupt go where? their little deal. To the Jade Helms, they're doing a deal with some wealthy investor. Alright. The Jade Helms does, are does very, very seen? respected here. They are the real power. Mm -hmm. So if the Hand are is seen to... Are we going into cause interfere, of Yes, we... Make the hand look as bad as possible. And by the hand, so why it do is we us. have to make you bad? Well, we don't. We want to make sure we. 
I suppose it might also be a good idea to actually find out what this deal is and who this mysterious investor their meeting is. I mean, if we're trying to make the hand look bad, why do we have to do any research at all? Why don't we just barge in and act like idiots? No, that for this plan, yes, but it might be for... for uh, um, we don't have to act! It's, it's very doable. I actually pretend we're love this plan. We, we make it look like the hand put their foot in their mouths. Eh? Exactly. Make them look yes. like this. Bumbling we we want to make sure we do get past... We do want to make sure we at least get past the front gate, though, because I can promise you that place is going to be guarded to the fucking tits. Oh, well, it's out. going down in the separate building, a smaller place. It won't be the main jail. Why don't house. we uh, just make friends with the guards? Is this like a strange seduction thing, or what? Well, <clears throat> I, I, I don't. You mean why? What? Everything is a strange seduction thing. <laughs> but no, I was suggesting using magic. And he punctuates oh. that by like filling the air with a shower of sparks. Oh, you mean that, that kind of... Um... <laughs> Alright! Oh, oh, I get it now. Um... I, I still like the plan where we go in and and act like idiots. Oh no, we are going to go in and act like idiots. We just have to get in. First. Well, I mean, um, if, it, well, if, what? if we want it to be convincing, can we not just? I mean, how would the how would the hand of Yuria act going in to break up a deal between two oh, undesirable you know, you know, kind of super pompous, like they fucking yes. own the place, like they fucking oh. own the place, right? Also, so yes, why? It does make sense because. The more of a ruckus we make on the street, the more people see, the more people get angry exactly. at the hand. Why Perhaps do we need to be is the opposite. About we don't it. need to be stealthy. About it at all. Exactly. We also want to make sure we don't, you know, die. Oh, we're not going to die. Hmm. Well, look, maybe that, uh, we can talk about it with Darren when we meet him. Is Darren coming with us? Yeah. He came with us Well, I mean, time. I assume so. Yeah. We took seven uniforms, so, well. Mm -hmm. Alright, I assume Dave's not- Wait, does Virion know about Dave? I don't know, Virion, do you know about Dave? I don't think so. I know of Dave? He's a friend of ours, but he doesn't, um, come break into houses with us. He mostly just stays in his room. Well, that's what I was gonna ask. Dave is not coming with us. No. No, alright. It would, I mean, if we're going to pose as the Hand of Yuri, it would look a little strange if the Hand of Yuri had um, Dave among their ranks. And Dave. A, a I Dave, mean, it's yes. going to look weird that the Hand of Yuri has a tiefling and a goblin. But here we are. The Hand of Yuri is an equal opportunities employer. So Dave should be allowed to come into the Hand of Yuri. I'm not saying we should take him, I'm just, I was just... Uh, clarifying if we were bringing him with us or not, and I don't think it's a good idea for us to bring him because he's precious and he needs to be protected. He did just get a very nice alchemy set from Esme. He's making potions now. He did. You oh, still well, like parents. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him creating things. I'm so proud. <laughs> Alright, well, what's the plan for this afternoon? Well, just out of character, is there anything people want to do, or...? I mean, you'd think with three weeks off, I would have planned something that I wanted to be inventing, but I completely forgot to look at my list, so no. Make me a lightsaber! Uh, can I make a lightsaber? <laughs> Damn it, I would like to roll the ho, ho. lightsaber! Let's, let's nip this in the bud quick, while anyone's getting the lightsaber first, at this motherfucker. <laughs> what? Um, I, I will have oh, to like actually goodness. come up with the stats for a lightsaber at some point, and then I will try. Um, but I can't definitely. do that now. I definitely want to make you a lightsaber, though. I still I mean, have my call. Borrow the fucking sunblade stats. Oh. It's literally a lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I'm looking up the sunblade right now. New. I will. I will certainly add this to my list. I'm gonna write that down because I'm definitely gonna forget. I'm just gonna write it in big bold letters on my notebook. Lightsaber it's for Bay. Tentacle Rob. And me. Oh, we two lightsabers? Rizbit wants one as well? Just put down yeah. like a- just Lightsaber Bay 2! <laughs> Make so me a great lightsaber. 
like a like a great axe but a lightsaber <laughs> an axe lightsaber <laughs> great. that's just no but like you know the way there's axes and then there's great axes you want like a two-handed lightsaber i want like a two-handed lightsaber this is a real great axe that Rispin yeah. also needs a two-handed light oh god Get oh no! Make me no! I can't do I can't do real weapons. Do you, want, do you want Kylo Ren's lightsaber? No, cause that shit's broken as fuck. It is. Make me a make me a functioning Kylo Ren. Lightsaber. <laughs> I'll improve on perfection. <laughs> All right. And that one's broken for aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly sacrifice functionality for aesthetic. Anyway. No, in, in short answer to your question is, I don't have a thing I want to do out of character, so, unless anyone else does. Um, I don't have anything I want to do. No, I'm good. <gasps> Actually, can I teach At Atlas tricks? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what tricks he can actually do, but I would like to teach him tricks. Turned into a tiny onyx statue of himself. No, that's the wrong <laughs> campaign, Laura! I guess we meet Derridan then. I'm gonna teach him to to ring a bell, and he That's gets cute. a treat every time he rings the bell. We're gonna have a fat pupper. Koda, can you make me a bell? <laughs> <laughs> I spend the afternoon inventing a bell. I feel like that definitely exists already. <laughs> if we have guns, we definitely have dinner bells. But it's like it's a bell in the shape of Alice's face, so he <laughs> knows that it's his bell, and he rings it, so he gets a treat. Yeah, no, I don't have anything I want to do. Really. <laughs> we meet Derrid. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you guys, like, you know, traverse into the really, really fancy rich district. Uh, again, you are donned in um, your hand of your uniform. While wearing said uniform, it's essentially just like a carbon copy of whatever armor you guys have. But mm -hmm. you look like members of the hand. Um, yeah, while you're in them, you get uh, advantage on persuasion checks. Uh, uh, on commoners, like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, one of us. But, um, what? One, one of we us. Have it? One of us? What if we already have persuasion? Oh, well, then it just like it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> just, yeah, you, you just have advantage. You um, just look really dapper. Everyone likes a man in uniform. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you do not have um, advantage on persuasion against other members of the hand. Okay. That um. Sense. While we're like sort of making our way into the Drist district and when we're closer to where we need to be, I'm gonna cast the sky self on myself to look like that guard that we knocked out in the guardhouse when we where we stole the uniforms. Ah uh, yes, 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 yes. I can't remember his general description. There the uh, general description. But you turn into a you know a young man. A dedicated like, you know, young man he's, he's with not, no characteristics. Yeah, he's, he's not a greenhorn. <laughs> he definitely looks like he's seen his, his fair share to a degree. He's got a bit of stubble. Some nice, you know, um, wavy locks. He's, I feel like no he's definitely just chat. general game protagonist. Stubbly, brown Oh, hair yeah. Like, hey. Like, insert generic game protagonist face here. You turn into Nathan Drake. Complete with an cool. amazing mouth anime. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just to say, I've done that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, dude. No worries, you successfully do it. How long does that last? Like an hour or some shit, isn't it? Let me double check. I think it's like that. I, I, I don't think it's ten hours. I thought it was like, like eight hours or something. Is it? Yeah, like, it's, it's I almost too an short. hour. An hour? I it's, it's one hour. Yeah, I think that's why um, Warlocks... Um, Get it if it's a while, because they can do it at will, because they can just, you know, yeah. keep just refreshing it for free. It's, yeah. which is pretty it's neat. definitely an error. Alright. So I'll do it, like, at the last possible moment. Yeah, wait, like, at the most convenient, like, I should do it now, kind of. Yeah. That's, we that's all Are we doing something wrong? Is this, is, uh, should, should we have gotten disguises? You, you are in disguises. You're wearing uniforms. I have I horns. Just... He's a goblin. <laughs> How do you disguise hey, it? Hey. We, we can't dress him up as a I'm child. a sad goblin now. <laughs> so you guys are okay, sent. You'll be fine. Just keep walking and act like you belong. Yeah, exactly. I can't do that. Code of fuck's sake. 
Okay. Virion right like hand, walks dude. over Dakota and like puts his hand on the back on his lower back and like straightens him up a little bit and like brushes <laughs> off his shoulders. He's doing the mom like, thing where he just rubs a bit of dirt off his face. He's like, <laughs> uh, and like point points up his chin so he's not staring at the ground <laughs> while he walks. Postures, posture. All right, look at it this way. Right now, you're not Kona. I'm not Isadora. He's not Rizbus. We're proud members oh, of the it. Hand of Urus. Oh, Riz- <laughs> All we care about your... is the queen. Just, Bit just Riz. focus on that. Your name is Bitriz. Bitriz. We call you Bit. No, Bitriz. Bit. <laughs> I hope there's like, ma- like manifest into an awful existential crisis for Riz. <laughs> I think. Like, so. What am I? Riz starts having flashbacks <laughs> from that time of when his name changed. We oh, never found yeah! out about that! <laughs> As you were saying, like, Bitriz, 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 he starts saying Bitriz, but then he goes, Tenchu, my name's Tenchu. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> Your name's Riz um, Bit, it's fine. Well, don't, you don't have to be anywhere. Right. Yeah, it's like we t- we're well, filing that away for another day. <laughs> That's something to repress until later. <laughs> Let's just repress it's all the bad oh, things. My, fa- my favorite line, ah, oh, Santa Clara to diet, is you used to come out at a forest and scream. It's like, well, we were too poor for therapy, so this was the next best thing. <laughs> That's this entire <laughs> campaign, so Darren. Good. That's what this is. <laughs> it's a bunch of weird people screaming in the Could woods. You? Just went into the woods for three weeks by myself to scream. Yeah, fair. <laughs> So, you guys meet Derridan in an old dodgy old back... Well, like, as, as dodgy an alley one can find in a pox in district. Room. Which actually, from real life, are pretty damn disgusting. But you know what I mean? He's like, you know, hunched over. There's a, a an odd mass to his right, and he's in uniform. Like, he kind of has his helmet off, so you can, like... Because he's in place. Um, and you essentially, like, oh, look, it's Derridan. You can spot him. <laughs> but he's got, like, kind of, like, a pile to his right. And he's, like, when he sees you, he's, like, waves his insane. He's like, hello. 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 He's like, so I started early. These are the guards, and there's just like three guards beside him. He's like, they're they're asleep. <laughs> oh well, that's that problem. So All right, there you so, go. We climbed one wall, so we're gonna climb another. You you guys don't have issues with like you know mastiffs, right? What? Uh, what? Um, like giant dogs, you know, bred for war, rip people apart, aren't ni- like literally are impossible at being nice. You can find with them, yeah. I really, really like dogs. Well, they really like meat, so I think you might just get along really well. No, um, I threw some meat over, like drug meat, so they should be asleep if we're quiet. And he like wiggles his hand. But yeah, like it's just worst case. I we might have to. T- tackle mini lion things but other than that then we're in like it's literally we just have to hop the wall in the garden and we're fine i took out the sentries so it's a case of once we get over that wall we're sorted fair play let's get to work and he's like i agree time to move on and be heroes like you know don's his big ass helm for his big ass head and can i have an athletic or an acrobatics check from everybody Oh dear. Oh fuck. Athletics, here we go. Well, that's mediocre. I am going to use a luck point to re-roll that. <laughs> oh, welcome yep. to my world, Andrew. Isn't it great? Isn't it fantastic? Uh, okay, so, Rizbit with Grace. Uh, Virian, you know, really well. Um, and everybody else just by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> Like it's kind of like you know, We're like you're starting to fall and you fumble and you're like you know you're cocking a leg up awkwardly. That kind of... It's like I got it, I got it, it's fine. Do you must keep trying to like catch the other and push the other up and then we fall. And then someone else catches. It's a real mess. It's a real mess. Oh, that's a house. Doubles. Doubles. Woofers. Three very large black warhounds about the size of a small lion. Per- perfectly. I got Asleep. this. 
I, hold on, I'll show you guys on the board. I knew I fucking forgot something. I was looking at the <laughs> map for ages, and I was like, what is... It's the fucking place. My yeah. World 20 is being it, so slow that the like, map sleep. isn't loading, just the tokens Oh, are. no, it's no, no, it's not you, dude. It's the fact that the map is fucking Oh, colossal. there it is. Oh, okay. Not that it's colossal, it's just wide, because it's meant to be like a manor. Mm -hmm. And Roll20 plus maps that aren't TTP is just like it's a big map but like later the yeah. inside of it just makes it look like it's a fucking castle and it's just like oh why does this site hate me <laughs> but yeah i'll show you guys on the the, the old borderino now when roll 20 stops having a freak yes did you say they were asleep they are indeed three of them three doggos are asleep don't, don't, skin the doggies. don't skin them they're alive let's be quiet i don't want to fight i love animals you like skinning animals! I like skinning the animals. That's the same as loving them. I'm actually trained in animal handling. So do you, you are? Yes. That's <laughs> why so he skins you... them so well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real revelation today. <laughs> We're learning a lot about ourselves. So, anywho. <laughs> oh, there she goes. I mean, you're a vampire, so you can't talk. <laughs> oh yeah, have you heard the latest theory? Oh, uh, do tell. He's a vampire. That makes perfect sense. She wears help. that big old hat to keep the sun off her face all the time. Who wears a sun hat indoors? We're under a mountain, but look, she's got a fucking sun hat. Is all I'm saying. It, anyway, like. It could be a morning hat because it's got like a veil on it, and you could be being really insensitive. This is true. Oh, his whole I family died. I haven't said this in character. I'm just saying this as me. She she doesn't want to talk about her family because they're, they're all dead. Because she killed them. Look, Izzy has all the very sound theory. theories. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. We've I been outside in the sun with her. But I detect undead and she Oh yeah, it. there goes that theory. <laughs> this is very true. So, <laughs> the worry. first vampire. Your secret's safe with me. I'm a daywalker. <laughs> oh, he's figured it out this whole time, he's never said anything. He knows she's a vampire, he just hasn't said anything. Riz is just too sound to reveal her. What's our plan with these doggos? <laughs> sound, what a fucking reason. Just <laughs> really, you. Like, in years to come, like, they'll be like, Champion Selfie, why didn't you sell her out? It's like, two fucking sound like <laughs> Snitches get stitches. <laughs> um, just to like the seeds of Discord, someone we have been traveling with knows. Knows what? Knows. Knows your and secret? And that's all I'll say. Knows. Uh, I hate this stupid... Oh, Dungeons and Dragons is the worst. <laughs> Someone <laughs> knows. I know before you. Uh, yeah, also... Like, Anyways! I'm just going to use Vigilance as um, token for Derridan because I have yet to actually design that care. Um, so, it's a nice garden. It's, you know, it's dark. Well, it's dark to a degree. There's like the street lamps kind of thing. But the wall is quite high. You wonder how you scale it so elegantly as, you know, you threw a leg up there and fell backwards and your underwear popped out, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you landed, you know, in the uh, in the bushes. You know, soft landing. It was lovely. Um, to your... If, actually, if yeah, for, we're all facing west. So north of you. West. Um, to, up ahead of you um, is three doggies who are asleep. The garden is really fancy. There's a nice patio here, and there's a very large door here. Other than that, the garden seems quite empty. It de like there seems to be a few like bones and um, bits of meat around the dogs. It's yeah, it just seems like kind of like a back garden where we keep the doggies. You know, nothing really pops out. No point in you know putting gold statues out here because the dogs aren't going to fucking like. But the burgers will want them. Listen here, just because you want an easy fence to shy. But yeah, everyone should be able to control their thing images now. So yeah. So I'm will we to... head over to the door? <laughs> Let's quietly, yes. Yeah, you get the vibe off the dogs there out cold. To the point where like you could 
Bugle, bugle, bugle. And you probably wouldn't make more. <laughs> Maybe we're not I once again. Yeah, um, the door has, um, you know, it's really nice, rich wood. Um, Renan would notice that it is indeed rich wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. That's so <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I just, I love like when characters have traits like that. It's like, oh, I've got this in my past. I recognize the wood. It's like he confirms it's nice wood. Um, like yeah, just um, wood. kind That's of frosted nice glass. Wood. You can't see anyone on the other side. It also looks quite dim inside. There seems to be a, like, from the direction, kind of, like, around here, like, a soft glow on the other side of the glass. There's a few windows along here, too, as well. Again, frosted glass, not a whole lot, you know, to... They look like the windows are, like, you know, close shut, that sort of thing, so... Uh, What'll be, Valis? Can I try the door handle? It is indeed low. What kind of... Is it just like a, a lock that requires a key? or? Yeah, like it's pretty much just like a generic shitty back door. Like it doesn't look like it's intricate or anything. Does it look like the key is like in the door on the other side? No. This may be a stupid question, and it probably is. Um, but is there any way I could use my old Tinker's tools as a sort of lockpick like basically jimmy around like with the, the tools to try and unlock it no i don't think so in my head like what i picture are tinkers tools i can't see anything resembling a lock yeah that's fair i was just in like my head. i just don't really know what they look like so i just imagine like various tools there might be something long and skinny in there but i don't know yeah like yeah like essentially like hammers and chi like chisels that like what the fucking has to be made out but like chisels that can you can engrave metal with that and like I you know, screwdrivers and wrenches. Legitimately imagine Darren's lino carvers whenever someone that's says that's yeah, that's yeah. pretty much that's pretty much when okay. Smith and Green Fields come up, I just picture them. Um yeah, Darren. Hello. What what's the lock made of? Uh really like just generic metal. Can I melt it with a firebolt? Hmm. Yeah. You have to step I, back because like it's ranged. That. Yeah, I would like to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push Ray's bit back a bit. Come back here. Everybody, back up. Everybody, back up a little bit. I love how far back he's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Fire? No. Yeah. Fuck this. And I'm going to hit the door with a firebolt. I'm gonna hit the lock with the firebolt. Cool. Yeah. Roly, roly, roly. Oh fuck! I have to roll for it. <laughs> yeah, remember. Don't right. hit the glass. Where Don't do is it. You see, I would have caused knock, knock, but it make noise. So uh, noise. Yes, you, you successfully. Um, you know your your strike is true. Just roll damage for the sake of rolling damage. Fire. I, when the I lock making, is resistant to fire. When I was making yes. Viri, I was seriously considering taking silence so someone else could cast knock without the noise. But then I was thinking, no, we'll have Esme to pick the locks. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, but doesn't silence silence negates the verbal part of spellcasting. Oh, so I thought it, news knock um, then. Um, yeah. Is knock like what's the range on knock? Because you could be outside the range of silence. I'm and pretty cast sure it. the range of. Knock. I think knock you have to touch it, don't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. touch. No, it's sixty feet. Oh really? wow! Wow! Oh, they yeah. don't. Sure. That's a really handy distraction, actually. If you want to like have a door burst open, like sixty feet away, yeah, right? that's yeah. a really cool idea. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, you successfully like you know, the lock burns enough that you reckon it's like you hear like a, you hear a click. A very sad click. You probably want to wait a couple of seconds for it to cool down a bit, like you know, like Derridan is kind of like you know fanning it with his hand kind of thing. Oh, well, oh fire gonna, indeed, hot. Just gonna kick mm -hmm. the door. <laughs> I could just cast Frostbite on the door and then it would be cold again. I'm not wasting your spells. I'm gonna kick the door in. Or, or, <laughs> push it open a little bit because it was not locked anymore. You can just, like, push it. Are you advising caution? Kicking is yeah. slightly like pushing. Kicking would make a lot of noise. But we're not here to be quiet. 
But I'd rather not tangle with the dogs. Dogs are fine. <laughs> Darren, do you... She leans over and slightly pushes the door. <laughs> Uh, yes, is it or yeah, like yeah, Rizbit, you do the thing as Rizbit does the thing, is he? Yes. Like, what is your like? We, we have our own ideas. But what's your game plan here? Like, do you want to actually find them and find out what's going on, or, or are we just going to immediately get in there and start making noise? The general, our information that I, I we were given, we found out, you know, what, what have you, um, is that the deal is going down tonight, like now. It could be beginning. It could. You know, being in an hour, I'm not sure. All I know is that the we were told the layout of this building, like upstairs, is like a not a throne room, but kind of like a, a royal room. You know, J Tom's are very um, you know egotistical. Mm. Um, of course. Yeah, yeah. So they hold all their like serious meetings in that room. The thing is, the walls are so dense; it's to stop sound getting out. So, like you know, you know, the people like us can't eavesdrop. On the flip side, it means not a lot of sound gets in. So, within reason, we can make as much noise as we want. And if they are in that room, like, you know, the head honchos, any air quotes, won't necessarily know we're here unless, like, you know, someone gets away to physically alarm them, which is a possibility. But I would like to rough up the place, you know, kill them if we have to, like, you know, what's a few dead J-tops. Um, I would like to break into one of their main offices. I'm assuming they're either on this floor or maybe upstairs. Get some incriminating evidence just to leak. You know, just get it out there, dirty right. everybody, uh, dirty everybody involved. And if possible, there is a rumor that um, the head office has a secret passageway into the like main room. I would like to have a a look at who the investor is, just so we know, because it could be someone we know, it could be someone we don't know, it could be someone we never thought are dealing with it. Just you know, it's it's always nice to know you're in. So we get information. They lose out. The head loses out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, literally dirty as many hands as we can in the process like <laughs> as much as we're doing yeah yeah as much as we're doing this to make the hand look bad making the helms look awful isn't exactly like not on the table either like we per- uh, like personally hate everybody involved that kind of thing Fair. so caution until we know who they're dealing with yes we'll... precisely all right but we don't we want do to that. kill the, the main leaders we don't want to fight them i mean yes because they're like Valora is renowned as a warrior, but oh yeah, she's it, just flat out murderous. Yeah, like, but at the end of the day, if she swings, I'm gonna swing back. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's it's more we can do whatever we want until we get to that throne room, as you call it, and then caution. Yeah, exactly. Um, unless obviously, like, they shouldn't hear us. Of uh, maybe like lay off explosives if anyone has explosives. Oh, oh. maybe not use them because well, it shakes. <laughs> I'll just um, head back to the inn, shall I? I'll, 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 I'll have um, some tea ready when you all get home. Good, goodbye. No, in his sense, he means like fireballs, that kind of thing. Um, oh. Um, and also, if <laughs> fire gets away or something, we um, they could easily just like you know run up and be like, help. Yeah. Yeah. So I can right. kick down the door. <laughs> Rizbit already opened it. That confirmed. Uh, Rizbit, Rizbit already pushed it open and it has successfully opened. One second. Damn it. I'm really Please. Rip. You can kick the next Bit one. Riz, you can can't you? One. Whatever the fuck your name is. Oh, let's not even go there. Sorry, I was just trying to think of it. Got to click off your butt. Goodbye, Renan. Hello, house. There he go. Hello, you stinky house. Before you was a long hallway. There is a corner at the bottom, a corner at the top, and you can make out a door halfway up the wall. Oh, halfway up the hallway, not the wall. Door first. Yeah, sure. I'm just opening the old door, you know. I don't know, like, is there like, it, there's no frosted windows in this door? No, this is just a a wooden home door, like two uh, doors closed. Uh, like, push it to the limit. See if it'll open. Yep, yeah, swings open. Let me get my reveal area to. Oh, that's wrong thing. Oh, Jesus. The door opens and clatters against the bunk bed. You hear an abrupt, like. <sighs> and the like, who the fuck is this? And you, the chap on the top 
Bunk kind of falls down and is brandished, like, you know, scrambling to get his sword. And the chap down... Whoop, that's grabbing his token. Uh, the dwarf down here, goddamn pain, um, has, like, on the bottom bunk has kind of, like, you know, shot up, hit his head. And he's like, what the fuck? And he's, like, again, brandishing, like, you know, like, reaching for, like, a weapon that is near his bed. So, initiative, please. please. Prepare to be fucked by the law, dick of the law! <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, but I'm the law. Uh, is that 14, Axel? Your yeah, initiative? that's my initiative. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Right, let's see. Plus seven to initiative, I, but I'm still going second. Darren, I, I, I propose a motion. Uh, uh I would like to have when I opened the door. Can I have like strolled in as if I fucking own the place? Yeah. Yeah, um, like, so you're in the center of the room. Though. You know the way I'm right next to this guy here? Mm hmm Can I hit him in the head with the butt of my great axe to just, like, try and knock him out? I mean, there's only so much damage a butt of a great axe can do, but go for it. Wait. Uh, yes, it is. Nine damage. He's still kicking, but, pissed off, like, but still kicking. I'm trying to hit him specifically, and you know that like part of your head that you can hit that will instantly knock someone out? The, like, temple? Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, it hits him, you hear a, a ringing off his big dwarven head, and he's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> uh, right, so... I mean, so far we're be... doing a really good job of making the hand look bad, though, so this is great. <laughs> yeah. Just walk into a guy's bedroom and smack him in the face. Hello! Uh, Viri, you are studying something. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk over to here. And I am going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at number one. Um, but I'm going to spend a sorcery point. And this Um, yeah, so spending two sorcery points, uh, which lets me use my quicken spell ability. Um, let me just, yeah, so I can cast a second spell as a bonus action. So I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast twice. So four beams are going to hit guy number one. Truly. Uh, I'm assuming 11 doesn't hit. You would be correct. Okay, so he is going to take one, two, three. So that is 32 damage, and he is pushed 30 feet away. Wait, do you not roll damage for each? Oh, oh yeah, you did, sorry. So many dice on the screen, I'm so confused. <laughs> and that's all I do. Rock and roll. Uh, right, hold on. He just runs back up, basically. Um, Renan, he's coming at you. Yeah. Get out of my face. Oh, fuck. No, Fiona, I'm playing D&D. &D. Don't call me. Uh, 21 and an 8. Uh, 21 hits 8, doesn't. You take uh, 9 slashing damage. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, uh, shit, I don't even have a pencil. What the fuck? <laughs> right, uh, number 2 is going to run up to here. Uh, Viri, that is a 20 and a 24, buddy. Um, give me a moment. Yeah, both of those hit regardless of what I do. Yeah, cool no Um, That's a total of 18 slashing damage. Okie doke. Uh, I'll be back um, in a second. Yeah, no worries. Uh, oh, wait, actually, that's Renan. Um, cool, we'll pause Renan's. Like, you know, obviously when he returns, he can go next. That brings us to Isidore. Um, I'm going to cast Ray of Frost at number two, so deck save, please. Deck Save, but it's coming now. One second. Uh, that's a total of 12. Nope. So, 9 damage. Sorry, I, actually, Amy, is that one or two? It's two. Two? Two. Beside yeah. Uh, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. No, I just wanted to double check. Um, is that all? 
Uh, I will give Bardic Inspiration to Rizbet. Awesome. Um, Renan, it's your go. Um, I'm gonna... Shit, what can I do? I'm gonna wacky smack you this guy with my great axe. But non-lethal damage. <laughs> non-lethal with the great axe again. <laughs> with the great axe. You're just butting him. Yeah. You're pistol um, whipping this guy. <laughs> Wait, no, that's Police me. Fatality! Can I roll to pistol whip? I've never done that before. Dean <laughs> and... Oh, fine. You invented the pistol whip. Oh my god. Uh, nine hits. What? Oh, nine doesn't hit, I mean. Blech. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> this is nine hits. Right? <laughs> the 15 hits, though, right? Yes. Um, where's my great axe? Great axe damage. It's 11 damage. Cool, yeah. Number one goes down. Okay. Non lethal damage. Yes, yes, yes. Right, right, right. One second. I'll we'll just tuck him back into bed. It'll be fine. Can I, can I shout for the hand while I do it? Oh, that's. That's good. Yeah, sure. Um, uno momento, friends. Um, actually, sorry. As I say this, um, is that all, Ren? Um, yeah. Cool, Coda, you're up. Hi, I'm gonna use the sword. Guess how this is gonna oh, go? <laughs> really, really well. No one's gonna see it. Twenty hits, I assume. And I'm you are correct. Non non lethal damage. Seven damage. Yep. Two number two. Because number one's unconscious, right? Yeah. Correct, a mundo friend. Uh, yep. One second. Yep. Uh, and we are two bit. Okay. We're allowed to move through allied space, aren't we? Yep. Mm-hmm. Friend. I'm gonna move to there. <laughs> Axel, that was like your thing! You haven't done that in ages! You gotta do that again sometime, it's fun. Throw a giant great axe. Um, to try to hit 13 and 16? 16 hit. Okay, so this is gonna be non lethal. Rock and roll. 11 damage. Yep, that's awesome, man. That's a solid fucking chunk of damage. Well done. Uh, is that all, Rizzy, or...? Yeah, that's me. Do you not roll the attack? I did- I rolled two attacks. You did? Never mind, I'm a silly. Um, and we're now back up to Viri! To Viri, you say? To Viri, I say. Um... Shreds, you say. <laughs> Shreds? I only recently found out how to turn off the grids when making fucking maps in my program, and I'm so happy. I didn't do them <laughs> now, because I literally found out, like, earlier. No double like, boxes. Oh, every map. No, bo a double box is now. It's gonna be free. We live in a um, utopia. Quick <laughs> question: What kind of armor is number two wearing? I believe chainmail. I have it. <laughs> yep, chainmail. Excellent. I'm going to use shocking grasp, and that nice. means I have advantage. Yeah. Uh, that should have been a drop one. <laughs> uh, so that's. 13, but I don't really like that roll, so I'm going to lose, use a luck point to re-roll it. <laughs> now I oh. see how annoying this could be. <laughs> no, 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 it's fun. It's fun. And <laughs> wow, I've abused this for years, and now I finally realize how. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, 30 doesn't hit my friend. Yeah, so that's all I do. Yeah, no worries. Uh, oh, sorry, number one is... You reached him twice cold. and just somehow have really short arms. Number two is fucking electric sorcery. And he's gonna bonk you again. Bonk. Jeez, one second, my whole brain vertical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go! Holy fuck! <laughs> I was typing commands like Darren, you can't do that, and I was like, but I, I, I always type. <laughs> uh, Sixteen out of ten. Um, I'm gonna cast shield, so neither of those hit. Look at you. Yeah, no worries, no worries. That's awesome. Um, and, and we're down. Gonna oh. use a warlock spell slot for that, so there's no chance of it surging. All right, cool. cool. 
What is beeping? Go away from me now. Okay. This is like a um, very cool multi class. And uh, with that, we are to Renan. I'm gonna slide one over here. And I'm gonna hit this guy with my great axe. Non lethally. <laughs> <laughs> I love like everything. Like, by the way, non lethally. 20 and 24. Both, both. Uh, 13 and 25 damage. Non-lethal damage. Yeah, yeah, no, you successfully knock him out. You know, he's the flat of the, like, the flat of the hammer, or the axe and a pommel to the jaw, and he goes down. For the hand! No, I can hear you now. <laughs> I'm going to start ripping up bed sheets to tie them up. <laughs> I thought you were just doing it to cost. <laughs> Let's <laughs> rip <rush> it <laughs> just to be a shit! <laughs> it's like just and then I picture and Izzy. It's like getting back at like a sister or something. It's like pulling Barbie head dolls off. <laughs> I just realized that my one cantrip is actually handy in this situation. I can use thaumaturgy to like wreck the place. Cantrip? Like, I, yeah, I have three spells. I have darkness, hellish rebuke, and thaumaturgy. Um, I knew you had darkness. Tieflings get them for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get thaumaturgy as cantrip. Um, I can use that to like, like, like. Cause tremors and knock things off shelves and shit. Mm. So I'm, I'm gonna help for once. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck the place a little. I'm just cutting loose, so, yeah. cut loose, you know. <laughs> you cause the room to shake and like a book that was on its side just erects itself. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I do. I just fix <laughs> something. No, Can it's more I like get... it's more like I shake the room, a book falls over, and I'm just like getting a little bit anxious, so I pick it back up and put it back. A crooked picture frame, picture frame, like straightens itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would wreck the place and then put it all back because I'm feeling a little bit guilty. <laughs> Can I command Minerva to shit on their pillows? <laughs> That's so mean. Hopefully not on the guys who are sleeping already. That's just mean. Oh, all the pillows. Oh god. So yeah, just tie them up, gag them. Uh. <laughs> the huge. The huge. Real cash. We're getting good at this. I just love the yeah, you... thing. I mean, like, I don't judge. It's a valuable skill to have in this revolutionary society. And we haven't killed anyone. You know the way sometimes in like games like Skyrim, you'll be walking around a stronghold and when you search a dead body, they have like really detailed orders on them of what they're supposed to be doing at what time. <laughs> Can we see if they have orders that like indicate when the meeting happens? I guess investigation, buddy. I am not good at investigation, but I will give it a go. No, nope, neither am I, apparently. Oh, we both suck. <laughs> I got a good deal. Nah, you guys find no orders. I'm we both bump into each other while we try. We both, like, bend over to go to the same person and bang heads off each other. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, like, got you with my horns, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, That's okay, you, Ran gets shit done. We're fine. You, uh, rummage through the pockets and all that jazz, and the only thing you find that, like, might relate to such a thing is basically just... Not their clock in cards, but basically them just taking notes of when their shift begins and it ended like an hour ago, that kind of thing. But there's nothing, nothing specific saying like, you need to be here for this thing. I'm gonna rip up the schedules and scatter them around the room like snow. The room is successfully trashed. I like to think we made a difference here today. It's like, well, team, time to leave. <laughs> Doing the hands work. Alright, let's go. I don't know, we haven't erected any towers. Will we peep around corners? Behind corner. Gonna number. peep around? The peepers? Scooby peepers, peepers, meepers. Oh, sorry, I'm inside you, Izzy. Rude. Peep peep. Actually, <laughs> peep, peep, not appropriate. <laughs> that is not mission okay, appropriate. I'm just going to Bethesda some... clip through this wall. That's some... <laughs> That's I, I need to get. You do that. <laughs> what's that? What, what's that? What's that, Darren? Oh, that's a circle. That, that's uh, Corvus. Okay. Oh. How about you don't do that, Andrew? Without, maybe, maybe you just 
We've had bad experiences with things appearing on maps, okay? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> By the way, I assume Derridan's with us. Yeah. It's very much a case of, he's Elizabeth from Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your bird? Am I surrounded by birds? Yes. Huh? I think I'll need to make it better. I, to ha better. I have to ask, is the bird thing like a regular phobia or a I got trauma by a demon it's phobia? Because, um, it's because Esme put birds in his hair when they were kids. It's his regular phobia. It's like she put a big bird in his hair. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> he had big hair and it looked like a nest and she put a bird in it. That's nice. That's so okay. cute. <laughs> It makes me fucking sick. Grand quarter number three. It's a washing machine. You hear? What was that noise? Sup? He's just like, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You and think you right. have the right to ask who we are? He, uh, as as Isadora sprouts such a beautiful line. Um, a wide grin, you know, spreads across his face, and you notice that this individual is rather well-equipped. He's brandishing some really nice dwarven mail, or not mail, that's fucking, oh god. He's brandishing a suit of armor. <laughs> no, oh god, it's, it's, it's fucking, man. no, it's fucking, was it that fucking sound file from Dragon Age? Dwarven mail, straight from Wars of Mars. Fucking grounded Fine, head. dwarven Yeah! Dwarven <laughs> Yeah, that, right that's the right. Sorry, he's he's in very fine plate, and uh, you know he's got a, a very large hammer to his right, like well, not to his right, kind of. He was leaning on it, like for his post. Darren, uh, Ian, would you arguably say his armor is better than mine? What do you have? I uh, scale. Uh, yeah. Then um, Darren, Ian, that mofo was gonna lose his armor. I mean, that's awesome. I'm into it. Rizma just staring at Sam. I'm going to strip Give you. Give me your clothes. <laughs> I haven't seen everybody in a while. I like to think it's just like a straight wall of the party, and Rizma just like, like basically just vibrates out. And he's like, oh, oh, oh my. Be having that. Tenchu, don't don't call him. Skin him. <laughs> don't skin. That, that's I, I don't skin him. Just take his arm. Skin anyway, him. I'm gonna he cast Ray of Frost at the guy. Okay, as as you like, as you're conjuring up Ray of Frost, like he walks towards Rizbis and he's like, "Oh, you think you can take me, little one? I think I can take you, little one. Bring it to fuck on. And Izzy, you may now hit him in the face with ice. There you go. Wait, do you just automatically hit with Ray of Frost? Well, sorry. Can you do a dex check? Oh, right, sir. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Dex. <laughs> yeah. Dex, this guy is loaded with that. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Okay, cool. So take that while, please. <laughs> he takes it in the eyes. So, Rizbit, are you going to uh, 1v1 him, or is everyone going to join him? Well, well that's up to everybody else, but I'm just going to swing twice at him now. <laughs> <laughs> 1v1 me, mate. <laughs> Cool. Well, it's a case of right. So, if people are letting the one v one happen, in a sense, no. um, no. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Uh, right, twenty. All right, we'll do initiative after this. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one hits actually. Yes, yeah, we. Ten damage. Because I'm not gonna holy blast this guy. Because I know we need to keep him alive. Actually, why are we leaving these fuckers alive? So they can live to tell the tale of yeah, how shit. That the hand came in and beat the shit out of them. Like that's a great story. <laughs> I like to think. I like to think Rizbit saying that as he's stabbing <laughs> him. Wait, what? Like, Wait, why exactly? aren't I like killing him? <laughs> okay, guys, initiative. Quick fire that initiative, please. Just looking up at Renan, like, why aren't we killing these people? Renan, so oh. seven is just like my my initiative. Down. I mean, I've got a plus seven, Every and time. I've rolled some shit yeah, initiative. Yeah, wait, hold, hold on, is it the exact same initiative? Wait, one sec, let me... It's almost, I know, I think I got eleven last time. No, I got, I got lower. I rolled the exact same initiative I got last time. I, I, I think I did as well, I think Ian did as well. I, did. I always kind of rolled around a seven.
我就係咁。Are we gonna do this fight and then break, or break before this fight? I mean, it's just one guy. Yeah, this won't take long. We can probably finish this and then break. Like in fairness, half an hour later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really, we we're starting us off. Very, very, oh. very. Um, I see tight corridor okay. range text. I'm getting flashbacks to session one. So Corvus is going to fly over, and he's going to use the help action to try and give me advantage on this, um, or actually just gives me advantage because that's what the help action does. And then I am going to cast, sure, Eldritch Blast, I guess. Um, so that's the first ray, and that, so that's the advantage for the first ray, and advantage for the second ray. So twenty-two and a twenty. It's okay. He takes twenty-four damage and is pushed twenty feet away. Okay, I can move twenty-five feet. <laughs> and that's all I do. Cool. We're not. Oh, actually, hold on. Scratch that. Pause it. It's my bad. He runs back over. Oh no, sister! <laughs> I hate it when it's the enemy's turn. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh yeah, they both. Are. With a thrashing uh, dwarven warhammer, he oh well, maul, split hairs. Um, he runs up and he's just like, ah! He smashes you in the face. Um, uh, oh, that roll twenty spazzing. Um, you take a total of twenty-four damage. Twenty-four. Yeah, twenty-four. Oh. Wait, is it piercing, slashing, blunt? I have to say, blunting. Bludgeoning, there we go. I was like, it's, a pl it's not blunt damage. Bludgeoning, yeah, cool, awesome. Isn't that right? Hammer is bludgeoning. 24, yeah? Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, cool. I just smile. No, I'm digging it. <laughs> you little shit. Like, the uh, uh, Right, I'm with that now, it's running. Um, I have a jar of cinnamon in my pocket. <laughs> a good job. <laughs> I, I, I have a pint of water on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw it into his eyes to blind him? Pocket cinnamon! Pocket, Pocket cinnamon! cinnamon. <laughs> exactly what I'm using. Uh, are, are you trained in improvised weaponry? No. <laughs> I feel like you don't have to be just well, throw well, dust well in the then, case of it. <laughs> throwing a, a range attack within five feet with no training is pretty ballsy. Like, it's doable, but like... I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna hit him, Re. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make you that blinding device I've been working on. Twenty-five and six. Uh, Twenty-five hit. Non-lethal damage. <laughs> um, I'm gonna action surge and hit him again. I think. No. Twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Six non-lethal damage. Rock and roll. Uh, that's that, that's that, and we are now down to Coda. Okie dokie. Um, I'm really having flashbacks the last time I shot a crossbow. Oh god, uh, please don't. <laughs> no, you know what? If it was anyone else, but like, I don't want to no. know. I mean, I could shoot I over Rizbeth's right head. There. I could shoot over Rizbeth's head, but no, fuck, no, no, no. You specifically aim over Rizbit's head, and he would still hit me in the back. Oh, I would. So I'm gonna rapier him twice. I've never seen Coda move up before like that. Wow! Whoa! I, everyone saw. Everyone saw me be good. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so that's um <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my god, Coda did it good. Okay, so that is four d8 plus eight. Okay. Sure. That is literally all of your luck for the next, like, 600 sessions. <laughs> I didn't even roll good dice. Oh, I don't care! No. I I did the thing! I did a good! I got two Double nat thing. 20s! That's so exciting! I stabbed the sh I mean, no, I don't! I non-lethally stabbed the shit. I, I, am, I hit him with the blood, my rapier! <laughs> You're so excited to kill him! I just him. stab him, no! Uh, I hit him with the blood of the rapier. Um, yeah, cool. He, like, you know, takes a walloping, but he's like, you know... 
Still grinning. Then I just look over at everyone doing the Oglaf Labyrinth phase. <laughs> Isadora. Um, I'm just gonna ray across him again. Um, so Dex. Oh, Dex, yeah. Cool. That was nearly a D206. <laughs> oh, nine damage. Oh. And um, I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything else. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, he's he's looking. You know, he seems to be, you know, showing signs of certainly not being on full HP. Rizbit. Okay. Um. So, I'm gonna utter my vow of enmity against this guy. So or that's the advantage that. one, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna try and hit him twice. No, right, go for it, buddy. Twenty-five and twenty-four. <laughs> yeah, man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Can I do non-lethal damage with smite? Uh, it's magical damage, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna roll two and more hits. Yeah. Both non-lethal. That's to hit my sorry. I was about to say, holy fuck! Holy <laughs> yeah. fuck! Oh, holy <laughs> fuck! Nice. Holy damage! Holy damage. yeah! Jeez, man, Rizbit like. That's many. Describe words. how Rizbit non lethally puts this chap in the fucking ground, like. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> uh, he I was like, we've got a few more. No, no that's it. It's so, so good. Before Rizbit, like, as Rizbit, like, reels back to hit him, he's like. You call that a hit on me? I'll fucking hit you. And just like, dex him. He punches him. He puts his, the flat of the blade in his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, lads. The fucking damage, like. <laughs> <laughs> I need to reevaluate my enemies. Uh, that was fucking. Yeah, he goes down with that. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Right. I'm assuming, like, a hungry, hungry dog, Rizbit leaps at the. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I need, uh, I'm gonna like drag him back into the place where the other two dwarfs were. Ah. I'm not gonna leave um, the unconscious dwarf out in the is, open. Is it me that this guy? Uh, mine seems okay. Darren? I think Darren yeah. died. No! Darren. That's fair. Uh, Darren? What's fair? What's fair, Darren? Hello. Speak to us! Hello. What's fair? What is it, boy? What is it? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Steel twisters down the well? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Fake laughter, real quick. Um, hello? 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 Oh, yes, we can hear hello. You. Yeah, sorry. I have no idea what, like, my fucking ping, like, went into Mars. <laughs> um, I heard I'm dragging him, but I'm assuming you're dragging him into the other room to, like, you know, strip him. Do you rope yeah, him? Definitely. Yeah, cool. Like, I'm and sure, we'll like... Tie him up, same as we did with you. Yeah, yeah. Is this going to be like the knockout body room from like yeah. every Metal it's Gear Solid game? It's a great place to hide bodies, we just close that door open, it's perfect. Like, no just one's going to look in there. Like, this is our sleepy sleep. room. It's perfect. Besides just taking the armor, I kind of want to take the Warhammer as well. Yeah, it's just standard mall, like, in terms of stats. Like, yeah. I, yeah, I, I always called right malls now. Warhammers because they it just seems yeah. cool. cool. <laughs> a mall. mall. Uh, um, does, if we search him, does he have any info on him? He has a incredibly exquisite key. <gasps> as the door he was standing in front of was rather exquisite. Ooh. Darren. So we'll take that. Can I strip them all down to their underwear? Just for yeah, posterity. Sure. Just for <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't want to let that one person be the odd one out. I'll yeah. put myself out. Yeah. Yeah, you should. It was pretty bad. I know. <laughs> I haven't slept Okay, guys. Oh, hold on. I, I, I'll move that token in here. He's... Oh, that's a Rizbit token. Hey, Bye, Rizbit. Uh, oh. yeah. You successfully do all those things. We will break now, because I need to get more water. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so people watching, and obviously players, um, back in ten minutes, give or take, each side of that. Yeah. yeah. I did not prepare a rest image. Hey. It's fine, I'll get one now. So let's strip these dwarves and get back to business. Sure. Um, yeah, stripping dwarves is business. <laughs> so back to like serious business of stripping dwarves. Back to yes. serious business of stripping dwarves. I stripped them. 
You successfully naked the dwarf. Sweet. It's mine now. <laughs> mine. Oh, mine. Those filthy kids couldn't stop me. So, um, you guys return to this hallway, yes? Okay, yeah. um, we Now we have the key for what I assume is this door. It you know what? Indeed... I'm going gonna, gonna to try the key in the door. <laughs> The very intricate and old iron door. Like you throw throw the key in? Yeah. Cool. When you turn it, you hear like just an absolute like orchestra. We hear an orchestra? Of mechanisms behind it. Oh, okay. Don't be like, you hear an orchestra behind a door. Hmm, what does this remind you of? Orchestra of like clicks. How dare you leave me hanging on orchestra behind the door, Darren? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna peek in in so much as I can. It takes about minutes for the door to actually unlock. Is this like a mechanisty kind of door? Uh, hold on. I th- um, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I hear you. Oh, sorry, no, my, my uh, ping thing shot to red, oh. and I was like, oh, I have to wait like two minutes to speak. Um, this is like a mechanist steward. It's an old door. We have to deduce if it is like, you know, mechanic technology, but it is certainly old, and it is certainly intricate in its design by its sound, so. Oh, wait, sorry, let me just review. Um, is he actually, the door doesn't swing open. It kind of like, both doors kind of like, become like about a millimeter apart, and you just feel like, Air rush through like foul air. Can I peek in? Uh, yes, it will. Like, you can't kind of like open it a bit. You have to like you know push the whole thing like you know open a bit, but you can open it a smidge. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, in that room, um, is a staircase surrounded by odd like stonework. What do you mean, odd stonework? Like, the stonework... Actually, give me an invest... Like, for you to deduce that, you will need to investigate. Like, okay. you you don't have to touch it. You can, like, have a look and be like, it is deuce. Uh, yeah. Can I peek in because I'm gonna see stuff? No. Okay, sorry. Ian. Brutal. Um, <laughs> Izzy, you... The stonework looks odd because... You're in a house, and the stonework, the way it's designed, the, the you know, designs in it, um, seems more like a crypt. Like, it's stonework that you would see in, like, you know, uh, yeah, literally a crypt, or like a graveyard, or something like that, or a sarcophagus, even. Um, I point this out, does the, stair- does the staircase go up or down? Uh, down. Okay, I point this out to the others. Is this something we want to look into, or do we want to keep moving? Let's keep moving. That's that's not relevant. That's it's a dead thing. Not immediately relevant, but I want to check that out before we leave. Yep. I'm intrigued. Yes, this door doesn't seem like the rest of the house, and that doesn't seem like the rest of the house. Could be something. Down so, what, what is a house? Do? Did you just say what is a house? What is yeah, a everyone's house? like, it's not like a house. What is a house? Just as like, you know. I mean, it's not. Shit. It's not a surprise that the Jade Helms would have like their own private crypt in the house because they're that kind of asshole. But um, I don't know if it's what we're looking for. So. I'm going to, like, close and relock the door and keep the key on me, but it's not a bad idea to come back to this later if we get the chance. I think maybe this might be the secret passage. No. This is something entirely different. Darren said... Because Darren said that the the audience chamber is upstairs. And that it was through an office, didn't you, Darren? Yeah. Yes, he confirms that he heard as well that it is upstairs, and the secret passage is something to do with an office. It's still like so we book. will earmark this? Cool. Yes. I suppose we clear the rest, and if we have... If we're not being chased by a thousand people when we're leaving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm 
right. You hear walking, loud walking from here. Before we do anything about, like, does it? What does the walking sound like? Does it, it sound sounds like, like just like heavy boots coming towards you? How many? You can deduce from this distance that it's most likely one or maybe two, given that it's like kind of echoey and muffly. You can't pinpoint, but it's certainly not like you know five or six. Um, bit of a strange question. Can I, like, cast Ray of Frost, like, around here-ish to make the floor icy? Yeah. I'm into All it. All right, I do that. Bam, bam. And then, um, do we want to wait for people to come around, or...? I mean... Not really. We haven't exactly been subtle so far. And I'm gonna keep this. Patrolling towards you is a female dwarf donned in, you know, your regular, like, quote unquote, guard armor. Halt in the name of the queen! She's like, she's like, literally, what? <laughs> what is this? What is the meaning of this? You heard me. Drop your weapons. No, this is, this is my house, motherfucker. This is my house. <laughs> you come in here. We don't want your kind in here. Can I fuck my great axe at it? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Do I have a... No, I don't. Fourteen. I just hope Brisbane doesn't fall forward and smack his arse on his eyes. Um, it, yeah, it goes over, like, it just misses her. Can I curve it around her and call it back? No, you're not Neo. <laughs> Sadly, you're not yet Neo. One not day you may be. At level nine, I you will. can do... I'm gonna call it back anyway. She's like, not today, FBI. <laughs> I shoot her now. Where did she go? Is she going the other way? She did indeed move backwards. Dicks. Oh, I legitimately shoot her then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, Coda, you can do the thing and we'll get an issue. <sighs> I'm so smart, guys. Okay. I guess I don't shoot her, because I'm just the worst. See, this is one of those situations where I shouldn't have used sharpshooter, but decided to anyway. Darren. <laughs> Darren. It, tur it turns out she's Neo, and she dodges She's just dodging yes. bullets. <laughs> Prior to doing initiative, seeing her run away, can I try and hold person? You have hold person? I do. What the fuck? What? Okay, so... Yeah! so Alright, yeah, oh, you're a paladin. Yes, um, you do the whole person. Everyone, give me your friggin' initiatives. Uh, she has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, yeah, I'll roll that now. Two seconds. Oh, oh Jesus! D D oh, jeez! Oh no! And here we go. Hey, I'm dropping <laughs> <There's Coda>. everyone's <laughs> powers. <laughs> oh, last. <laughs> Coda, Coda yeah. got more. Coda got more than all of us put together. <laughs> Alright, one second. I'll make that check now a second. Uh, I'm cursed uh, to make good d20 rolls, but when I actually try to hit anything, I'm just- I can't. It's one of those. You'll get natural 20s on the damage, but you'll never hit. Cool, uh, wisdom, you said? Yeah. yeah. Lol. Oh my god. Yeah, she's held. Yeah, she is successfully held. She's like, what devil is this? She starts swearing at you in Dwarven. Do I know Dwarven? I, I don't actually fucking know. <laughs> I don't. You, have, you have to tell me these things. Is this how uh, it works? I speak Dwarven, I can translate. 
She says, you're nothing but a pack of rat bastards. Damn her. She almost right. said the name of the thing. Uh, <laughs> Coda, you're starting us off. Yeah, um, I want to resume my very coveted role of being the tire upper guy. But I'm not, I don't think I can reach her in one round. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's as far as I can go. So, can I like lasso her from this distance, or is there anything I can do? <laughs> Laura, I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, I'm already wearing a duster and have a gun, so I feel like I am a cowboy and therefore can lasso I, her. I gave you the cowboy thing months ago. And you're like, Darren, no, that's that's not really called a shtick. So no, no, you cannot lasso. You had your chance. Good okay. day, sir. I mean, I was just like, it's something else I can do at range. It's like, yeah, there is, but maybe it's not the best plan. Um, I mean, like, you're packing shoot a fucking in the sick foot. shooter, but like... Shoot her in the foot! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot her. Fuck it. Shoot her through the calf muscle. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the one because I'm really afraid of killing someone. So, I'm just gonna do one, one that bullet. Hits. Yeah, yeah, roll that Demuge. That Demuge is 16. Oh. I don't know how you're like, I don't want to kill her, I'll just use Sharpshooter, it's fine. But one Sharpshooter, I didn't shoot twice. Oh, well, thank you very I mean, much. And I'm being very considerate here, Darren. I shoot her in the knee. Jesus. I mean, knee next, I, know, I think next level or possibly level afterwards, I get to literally get a power where I target body parts and can just remove them. <laughs> Well, Ian, I can... Bibs. Cool yeah. I what's get Vats the though. story? What's the story with whole person? Um, so at the end of her turn, she can make a wisdom saving throw. But um, during her turn, oh, she can't move of any. She's paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed. She oh, straight she up, like she move. can't like throw she anything can't... or anything. No, she can't move at all. Cool. Yeah. All right. So just a uh, repeat the L save. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thirteen. How do you work out your saving throw thingy again? It's 8 plus to your uh, spellcasting modifier plus your fish bonus. Hold on. Damn it. She wins. Yeah, cool. Oh. Alright. She, she, like, you know, she seems to, like, not go limp, but she, no, she's clearly not held by a magic wand. Yeah. What's your spell mod? Because, like, 8 plus 3 well. is all. Uh, Oh, right. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Wait, hang on. You only have plus one to charisma? Wisdom. Paladins no, charisma. cast with charisma. No. It's your uh, spell casting modifier, not the... the... Oh, she drew, she drew then. Attacker but wins. She made yeah, roll, attacker so she wins. wins. Yes. Yeah, that was always what I was a defender with. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, she can't actually fucking do much anyway. Like. And she, you know, she, her kneecap is like not exactly, you know, functioning. Okay, hold, hold the telephone on that. However, she can feel all the pains in her knee. Yeah, literally, it's like <laughs> she can do so much now, like scream. Someone's opened my bag of notes or something. I oh, found wagon wheels in my bed. Oh, I love crisps. These nuts. I fucking love wagon wheels. The, the jammy ones. Nice. Uh, is it Dora? I wasn't allowed to eat wagon wheels when I was a kid. What? Me neither. Wait, what? that's so anyway, mean. I don't know. Just wasn't. <laughs> just some <laughs> arbitrary reason. <laughs> as as is Amy or Amy swallows speaking. her sadness and moves on with her life. <laughs> Father wouldn't let us eat the wagon wheels. I mean, I wasn't allowed them either, so I'm an Eric. Amy. Sad high five. No, they Sad just... high five. I think they just looked too big and intimidating. It was like, that's too much chocolate for one child. No, I'm just like, no, they're not good for you. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna need every other sweet ever. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> I viciously mock her. Oh, so, can no. you make a wisdom save, please? Literally add insult oh, to injury. Yeah. 14. Uh, what's my good save again? 15, isn't it? Yeah, I was I think it's 15. My god says 15. Uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna see. Ha! Can't even keep a hold of her kneecaps. 
<laughs> wow. Do six damage. Mean? And then I think she has disadvantage on the next roll she makes. Her Probably. next roll is to cry. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even allowed no. to do that. She crept failed. <laughs> Nothing. Cool. One second. Hey, if if she's paralyzed, shouldn't we all be rolling with advantage? She's no longer paralyzed. Not anymore. She broke out. Uh. Cool. Um, and with that, it is Renan's go. Oh, her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing with like a whole wagon wheel in your mouth, just like like a lip yeah, disc, just like. Well. Bah. <laughs> um. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna throw my right at her. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> don't hit me! Oh my god! <laughs> you just threw a weapon from. Did you just. We Darren, have Darren has my back looking. Circle. Is this full circle? Because I swear to I God. I mean, like, Darren. some of your hair is missing, but other than that. Can I roll to hit Coda in the back? Oh, please, come on. It'd be so nice. I mean, if you if you want to put a great accent. Please, Coda, like, I just, after all these, after 41 weeks, I think this is earned. That's 14 points of damage. Alright, I'm oh fine. God. I'm fine. I'm not. <laughs> Cry into my wagon wheel. <laughs> that was super cathartic though after all these after all this time. <laughs> now you hit me in the back. <laughs> I don't know, my revenge was breaking up with you. That's is true. <laughs> Well, that's not like, you know, <laughs> a whole different kettle of fish than I'm not arse dealing with. Um, <laughs> Izzy, um, Rizbit, con saves. Oh. Con saves, you say. <clears throat> what is happening for that? Someone's, someone's... someone's doing something. That is the most accurate thing that's ever been said, Ian. I got oh, thank you, You bought a dick after. Uh, Do we see what's uh, happening uh, to them? What's uh, happening? I will obviously describe them <laughs> three whole seconds, Laura. <laughs> Damn it, Laura. I'm a DM, not a miracle. I'm very full of sugar and low on sleep, Darren. Let me be alone. Maybe you should be the opposite, then. Full of oh, sleep you only and low take, on sugar? You take and a she total would die. of six thunder damage, guys, as this door here erupts with a loud, rumbling, thunderous roar. Which oh. off the hinges. The door directly to your right, Izzy. Oh, okay, shit. Alright. Yeah, it comes off the hinges. Like, you just manage to, you know, sidestep it, but, you know, the slappity slap. Um, and with that, we are... How much damage should we take? Oh, sorry. Oh, my. Roll 20. My roll 20 <laughs> yeah, my oh, yeah. Okay, um, it's go. a total of uh, six damage. Okay. Because you... And you just aren't pushed back. Laura? Yeah? I just messaged you there, and I was like, I'm sorry, I completely forgot you were a medic. What? Oh! It's, it's cool. <laughs> Is everyone's roll 20 back? Because mine's, yeah, mine's still yes. having an absolute tear. Mine's back now. Cool, and with that, it is... Viri's go. Okay. Um... I will move up to here, and Corvus is going to take the direct route to that guy, and he can just reach him because he's flies to the 50, and he's going to help me attack him. Um, so I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast with advantage. Cool. And can he just like do that help thing till the end of time? Or? Uh, yeah, pretty much. The trade-off is that he can be attacked, and he's very squishy. Oh no, burb! Burb! 
Did you bleed your own burb in half, Axel, when you hit me with the No, I hit you in the back. Darren? Yes. Do those hit? Uh, both hit, actually, yes. Okay. That is a total of 20 damage. And he has pushed 20 feet. Cool. And that's my go. Okay, one second, guys. I, need, I was I running need to up do to it. tie that person up, and now she's just out of my range again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. one, a, oh, one second, no. friends. I need to calculate something weird. She's been out of my range for quite a while. Oh, Rizmith's gonna take hours. You've still got this guy in the room. Yeah, it's gonna take hours. If I have to push them. Out. That's an option. I think I have to push them. Uh, that's the Eldritch Blast, um, like, uh, yeah, the invocation. Thing. Yeah, I think you have to. It just, it just says it pushes them back, so I imagine you can't decide. Oh no, it says you can push the creature oh. up to ten. Okay, so I don't, I don't have to. Sorry. Ten feet or thirty feet? Ten feet per blast. Ah, you see. Spells are hard, dog. <laughs> spells are hard. This is why I don't play any spellcasters ever. <laughs> You're not a bard. I have a warlock and a bard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> warlock, oh my god. <laughs> like, I and have a level 9 warlock, down. man. Even my non spellcasters have spells. Like, it's ridiculous. What spells does Kaukai have? Uh, she can heal people with her touch. And she can cast Sanctuary. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that evil laugh, Darren? Oh, no. I hope I didn't lose a horn to this great axe. No, it was <laughs> in the back. That's fine. You don't need your spine, right? <laughs> I've actually got enough health at 14. Like, last level even, 14 damage would have been like half my health. But I'm actually okay now. Definitely cold at the back of your coat See? open. Yep. Oh, it's my turn. I thought you were gonna smack yep. me with something. Cool. Um, <laughs> is this person out of my range? One, two, three. No, I can get right up to them. <clears throat> Did Renan recall his great axe? Because I could like toss that back to him before I go. Yeah, no. He I'll just pull it, it out of my flesh and just give it back to him. Um, <laughs> and I'll run up to this guy. It, it skimmed you as I called it back. Uh, I Can I use my amazing skills that I have learned on the job of tying people up with rope to try and tie this person up with rope? Well, considering the person is still... Like walk and talking and brandishing. Oh, they're not weapon. paralyzed anymore. Shit. Um, yeah. Well, I should have considered that before I walked up to their face. Um, I will rage you. <laughs> I'm a I'm a smart boy with great prospects. <laughs> I'm the worst boy. With no prospects. Just fifty. <laughs> Okay, that's one. Okay, non-lethal damage with the rapier then. Uh, what? How is she looking? Pretty On her fly. last legs, one might say. I'm an action surgeon hit her twice again with the rapier. Cool. Yes. Look at you. Code of swordsman. 14 non-lethal damage again. So that's a total of 20 non-lethal damage that turn. She down. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so proud of my sword fighting monster. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I do. Oh, when she's down, can I tie her up or is that another action? That's another action. Okay. Well, she's down anyway, Probably that's okay. I'm not worried. Yeah, there's still number two over in the room over there. I just kind of dissed you guys, I'm sorry. You won't have my my amazing sword skills to help you out. I won't be able to hit you in the back again. <laughs> it's 
It's okay, your owl's looking after me. We're friends now. I mean, she's definitely not shitting down your back. <laughs> not into the open wound, come on. <laughs> she's helping. <laughs> Uh, 27 and a 12, Coda. On me? Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Um, oh, oh, that uh, door. That, that natural 20 definitely hits. 12 doesn't. Um, can I hellishly rebuke whoever this is? Yeah, sure. Here have been shot with bolts. A heavy bolt. Cool. Not damage man. is... You take a total of 15 piercing damage. 15. Um, can you make a deck save, please? Eighteen. Uh, eighteen. Them, so eight damage. Okay. Okay. Cool. One second. I just like shoot fire into the darkness. It's it's a real startled reaction to having a bolt in my I ass. The darkness. I attack the darkness. I'm Have you ever seen that? What? There was a PlayStation Two game called The Summoner. And at the end of it, they had like this thing, like all the characters are in a table playing D and D. And he's like, "You walk into the car, like this damn this dark corridor. What do you do?" And he's like, "I use magic missile on what? The darkness." Edgy. It's so, it's so fucking good. I'll put it up in the group. Oh, shit. Um, Please do. Hold on. They're coming out of that fucking world. <laughs> uh. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Can I see where those bolts came from, or am I just getting shot from the dark? You're getting shot at the end of the hallway, friend. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm too zoomed in. Twenty-five and a seventeen, friend. On me again? Yep. Oh lord, yeah, both hit. I'm going down, friend. Oh. Uh, a total of fourteen oh, piercing damage. So fourteen total. For the yep. two of them. Two balls go thump, thump. I'm fine, uh, yeah, totally, guys. Yeah, Jesus. I'm totally on my feet and fine. Yeah, but how much HP do you have? More than one. Wow. Yeah, that's Less all than all three. <laughs> oh, God. Isadora. Yeah? It's your goal. I'm going to look at your man that, um... Bust open the door. I assume this is an. Is this like a regular looking guard or just like another big tough guy? Uh, he no. They they um. It's a kind of a you know it's a dwarf yet again. Um, they're not in like normal guard uniform. You might uh fucking. They're in like commoner's clothes, but like you see bits of like arcane sigils like on like the shoulder pads and stuff, and they're kind of holding their hands like they just cast a spell. So. All right. Um, I'm gonna look at him and say, "You think you can defy the hand? The very idea is laughable." And I'm gonna cast Tasha's hideous laughter on him. So, can you make go some safe? A fifty. Oh, that just saves. Cool. Fun booty. spell, though. I love that spell. So unfortunately, it's so good, so, so good. no incapac incapacitation. What I am going to do is give Bardic Inspiration to Coda and uh, flee the fuck over here. I can risk. That's a solid, <laughs> solid plan, friendo. Hey, um, I'm... <laughs> hey. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, one second. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you were far away. Never mind. Uh, right. Da -da 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 -da. Renan. Um, I'm going to take the dash action and put myself in front of Coda. That is super romantic and I like it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Darren, why do you hate love? Come on, Darren. Oh shit, hold on. One second. Uh, I forgot uh, the red points are a thing. Sorry, sorry yeah. continue. No, 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 yeah. It's... Cool. Um, is that all, Axel? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, Brisbane. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna go into this room and attack this dude. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and hit him twice. 26 oh, and a 28. Geez, yeah, there. roll me, roll me, oh, uh, roll nice. me those delete points, friend. Um, <laughs> this man. Erase this man. Because <laughs> now I actually am worried about my friends and stuff. I'm not holding him back, so I'm not, I'm actually gonna probably try and kill this guy. 
Fair. <laughs> Fuck it, we're not looking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, more, that's another reason for it. Um, Maybe you can tell everyone he fell. <laughs> he, he, he fell on these bullets sword. repeatedly. So I'm just gonna do two smites at level one with it. Alright. So Give me all that demo. 66s. <laughs> plus. I feel um, like you're definitely gonna erase this map. 68. 68? God. 55 oh. damage, Darren. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, Riz, Riz, I reckon. Riz, 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 Riz slices down, and it's like a couple of seconds, and then your man just splits in half, and blood just. Yeah. Riz isn't even gonna react. He's just gonna be like. Doo, 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 doo. I've noticed that Isadora is nice. over there. Oh shit! She, she, is she, that she, as well? Covered. She's just Nerva covered in a lot of shit. Yeah. Cool. And with that, we are to Viri. Cool. Um. All right. So my movement is thirty. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's more. Double. And let me just zoom out because I want to use the measuring tool here. Yeah. They're not. They're not more than one hundred and twenty feet away. Um. So I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on this one. Um, has he been hit yet, actually? Three? No. Okay, I'm going to spend two sorcery points for a quickened spell so I can cast Eldritch Blast twice. Um, so... Actually, what's that one? Ooh, Corvus is close enough to help. There we go. So, uh, advantage on all of these. So, 20 plus 7. Um, and I'm firing four blasts. Oh, forgot to drop one. That should be 23. 25. 23, yeah. Second one's 24. Third yep. one is 20. Uh, last one is 25. Yep. Okay, so um, he is going to take. So 17, 23, 26, 36 damage, and he's pushed 40 feet away from me. Fuck. And that's all I do. <laughs> Considering that I've only like cast cantrips to do damage so far, like that is all that I I do. That's number nine, Darren. What the fuck? Oh shit! One of them got a thunder wave off. That shit's hurt from three hundred feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in a line. Oh, oh no, no, down I go. <laughs> ah, ah. Give me those dex saves, boy. A female dwarf runs the corner, sees you guys, and like just lightning flares from her fingertips. Oh, dicks. Oh, well, I mean, half damage is still gonna be more than two, so I'm down anyway. You don't know that. <laughs> She doesn't want I'm going to use my last look point to reroll that. <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, buddy. Oh, very. That way. Not a crit fail, though, because I'm allowed to choose which one I take. No, but, you take um... the second roll with luck. Yeah, you have to take, take the second roll. Luck, you roll the second no, dice. You must take the second roll. I'm, I'm, I've used luck a lot. I'm pretty sure you take the second roll. I, that, that's ringing, ringing true to my ears as well. Hang on, let me recheck that. Is it the feet? Yeah, the yep. mm -hmm. feet. Then you take whichever one. Oh, okay, uh, cool. No, you, you, you choose no, you take which the of the one. 20s is used. Oh, cool. I have always gone with the I'm... second one. 
cool. So let's see. Coda, you saved. You take there. um, you take a uh, thirteen lightning damage. That's Everybody else take twenty six. <laughs> uh, she like screams like hand scum. Hey, at least it's working. Uh, I think before uh, I die. <laughs> <laughs> As code is falling over, like you know, like hair electrified, it's like it's working, <laughs> guys. So um, catch him before he falls to the ground. Aww, that's I, nice. I could also heal as well as Coda. I'm not unconscious, but I would like a heal. Oh, no. oh did you roll for um, Corvus? Because he was in that line of fire too. Oh, the poor oh, that's a good point. Oh no! Oh no! He's probably Goodbye, actually no. He, he's he's gonna die even if he saves. I cool. have to roll for Minerva as well. Oh no! Where is my Minerva book? Oh, this is a sad day. Many dead birds. <laughs> Many. Um, so, which tired. one cast that spell, Darren? Number nine. Number nine. I have advantage on all attack rolls against him for the next 24 hours because he killed Corvus. Cool, I'll just put a little thing image around them there so you know which one. Like, just so, like, for me and you. He made it all of a session and three quarters. He did, he did good. He was a good bird. Um, he comes back every short rest. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Minerva, we just... Minerva doesn't. Is Minerva dead? Minerva's dead. Oh, no! Oh, that hard. Oh god! Poor bird! So, uh, there's a dead owl on Isidore's hat. Um, Renan, no offence, I knock it straight off. <laughs> I'm kind of preoccupied at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Cool. This one gets to here, doesn't do much because it's a fucker. Cool! I lead gently. Um, death saving throw? <laughs> yeah, please, buddy. Oh, that's a fail. Oh, cool. Why do my tokens just disappeared? Oh, fuck it. What about there? Um, alright. Who? Number four. Number four. Okay. He's gonna shoot at Isadora. And we have 21 24. Yeah, they yes. don't go That's down. 14 Amy. Piercing. That's 14 piercing, buddy. All together? Yeah, all the total. Jeez, yeah, just not each fucking half. Okay. No, number three has to go the long way to get back inside. Someone push them outside like a rude, rude guest. <laughs> Izzy, it's you. Um. I am going to cast Healing Word on Coda because we need him to not die. Fair. So... Need is a strong word. Shh, you wish. <laughs> I mean, out of character, this is like legitimately my fault for fucking off in that direction. <laughs> seven isn't great, but you get seven. Seven um, solid. So I'm no then... longer unconscious? Yeah. You're like yeah. just lying down. I'm just, just, having, a, just having a cheeky a cheeky. Then... I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers on this area. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, because but healing words bonus. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm casting it at third level. Neato. Oh shit, I'll give you your spell token. Thank you. Wherever it is. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's such a good spell. Especially for those two fuckers over there who killed the birds. I'm yeah, so I was mad. like, oh no, we're gonna be conservative. We're gonna be a little subtle here. No, fuck it. No, we're going full on corridor. This is just like that, like old boy hallway scene. Oh god. And um, what's this um, aura again, Amy? It is a uh, cube of five feet. So you wanted to hit those two guys, you put it in the square under nine? Yep. I can hear a cat. Hello, cat. 
I mean, that or I'm just going crazy. I don't know. No. I heard, yeah, I heard you should be able to control that there now, Amy, at your Cool, pleasure. thank you. Cool, so they both take damage, correct? 13. Oh, snap. Oh, that's, uh, hold on, that's number 9 and 4. I'm just going to move kind of here so I can see their number. Yeah. Uh, 4. That spell has saved us so many times. It's so fun. I used to think it was shite, and then, it. like, Amy yeah, just showed how it's done. Yeah, I never took it when I was a bar. I've yeah, I never, never used it. I never taken it. I was, I was like, such yeah. A, yeah so I was good. always such an arsehole about it. I, like, I shit. remember Roger using it a lot in 4 and thinking it was really cool back then. That was cool even back then? Oh. Yeah. I should have known. I mean, um, I think it goes without saying, this can't be non-lethal damage. Oh yeah. What uh? Excuse they me. Birds, so fuck them. I mean, um, them fuckers are past killing. They've either. killed our bird. We're getting them. Was it? Um. Cool. Uh, Amy, anything else you wish to do? No, that's it. Cool. A scream is heard in the distance. Renan. Oh, whale on number seven Sick. with my great axe. Noise. Twenty-two and nineteen. Uh, both it. This is very much lethal damage. <laughs> Renan's eyes have gone red. Oh, oh they literally changed red. color. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, they're bright red. Uh, 19 damage. Rock and roll. Um, with that, it is Rizbit. He'll very slowly make his way towards us. See, this is it. This is like you can't make large maps in that program without it being fucking this size. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use the dash action to do that again. Nice. Rock and roll. And that's nice it. one. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, Viri. I am going to use my bonus action to cast Hex on number nine. Cool. Uh, using a Warlock spell slot. And then I'm going to fire off two Eldritch Blasts, or rather, one Eldritch Blast with two beams. Calm down. Stop. <laughs> She's so vocal. So, first she has... is a 15, second is also a 15. She has Both a clump hit. of fur stuck in her ear, and she's, <laughs> like, trying to, she's trying to itch it out and keeps kicking herself in the face. <laughs> Twenty-one damage, then he's pushed uh, twenty feet. Uh, that's number nine, correct? Yeah. Is he pushed into yeah. number four? How does that work? There are actually, like, I looked this up when there I was are contact damage. There, there are no rules for like what happens when something is pushed into something else. It's pretty much just up to the DM to decide what happens. There were in 4 e though, and it's weird they didn't in get pushed 4E, forward. They were very specific that you couldn't damage someone by through forced movement, and they always had saves and stuff to stop it from happening. But all the other editions, it was like if you push someone into a wall and you they still have damage. more force movement, they take yeah. fall damage equal to that movement. Oh, yeah, because yeah, like, psionics could like slam people into walls and do extra damage. I remember mm -hmm. Tony did it once, and it was fucking unreal. It rolled like so many dice. Yeah, he bumps into um number four. Four, four. As he goes by. Um, and with that, we are to. <laughs> that person's making the way back inside. Uh, oh, yay, this person's here. Okay, he, like, actually. Yeah, no, they brave it. Is the. Can I have damage, please? Yep. You sure as shit can. <laughs> Gladly. No. No damage. That's oh, a lot of there. my nice. gosh. And is it all? I'm missing someone. Oh, yeah, it's number seven. Number seven's gonna swing at your Rizzy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, he sees you out of breath after sprinting up, and he's like, I can take this guy. Uh, it's a 19 and 20. 19. Or 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Cool. You, you take um, seven slashing damage. Yeah, sure. Um, cool. And with that, it's cold. Alright, um, I'm gonna use half my movement to stand up. I'm gonna bonus action second. Do you like Dwayne the Rock Johnson stand up? Yeah, that's exactly. I don't know what. Yeah. 
the springboard <gasps> thing he does? Come on, man. He's on six HP. Coda is definitely not able to do that. <laughs> No, I really I mean, I like, I, like, I believe in him. I will believe in him <laughs> till the day I die. I will okay, in guys. Him too. If, if um, Kodo tried to springboard up, he would like roll back onto his shoulders and his horns would get stuck. <laughs> oh no! Then. He's like wiggling with his head I, stuck I in the ground. I was personally picturing him like springboarding up, and as he springboards up, he just, you know, pop, pop. Uh, well, first of all, we want a bonus action, second win, so no, no pop, pop just yet. Um, that is what you roll a hit dice, is it? Uh, plus your fighter level? 1d10 plus your fighter level. Grand, so... Oh, yeah, I get 14 health back, so I'm on 21 now. That's not so Don't tell Darren that. Fuck, nice. Um, because of Izzy's beautiful healing powers. Okay, I then I will pop pop. Uh, right in this motherfucker who's up in Renan's grill. You know what, I'm not gonna shoot this close proximity, I'm gonna try and sword him. I successfully a sword. <laughs> he takes 18. I am st I didn't see um, it kill it, anyone. Laura, Laura, sorry, Laura, sorry. Before you continue, which which one is this on again? Sorry, I apologize. On number seven, sorry. The one, well, the one in front of Renan and Risbit. Cool, yeah. Um, this is just a rapier. I didn't see it kill anyone. So I'm gonna still be doing non-lethal. I non-lethally hit with my rapier for uh, 18 damage. Sorry. Coolio. Yeah, this person is really like barely holding it together. Um, that is. Um, Amy, can I have damage, please? From yeah. Luke four. They're just not gonna get. They're, they're just gonna die before we get to them. <laughs> That's the plan. I love this spell. <laughs> I love this spell so much. Jeez. Uh, oh, <laughs> He's basically just a, a like bipedal blood. Yeah, like bipedal <laughs> blood stain at this point. It's just like a leg and a sword, and he's like, or a crossbow, and he's like, oh, I'll get you. Uh, <laughs> one second. Rizbit, an 18. <laughs> nice. Uh, they go to shoot again, and it's like, I'm out! You hear them yell as they drop the crossbow. Um, and, oh, sorry, and try to get out of this cloud. But again, it's a case of, like, it's a bipedal, blah, blah, blah. Um, where are we? Jesus, there's so many numbers. Uh, Izzy. No, um. we have, we, yeah, wait, yeah, no, never mind, yeah, continue. This is concentration, so I have to keep focusing on this, yeah? Yeah. Well, like, you can cast another spell, I think, while you do it. It's just you can't cast another concentration spell. Yeah, as long as it's not a concentration yeah, spell, you you're can cast free, Yeah, you're spell. free to do your thing. Unless the spell specifically states that you have to use your action to keep the Cloud of Tigers going. Specifically. Cool. Uh, in that case, where is? Why need those fucking bar cards? I'm going to use healing word on Virian. Oh, thank you. So that's. So you get eight back, then I'm going to use, that was the, my bonus action, so I'm going to use my action to use one of my maestro things, so everyone gets temporary hit points. Yay. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. And where's the roll for that? Oh, 
sorry. Uh, so yeah, everyone gets nine temporary hit points. Thank you. Nice one. That's really fucking good. For now, old boy, juggle. Um, I'm gonna drive my axe into this person's face. That is a solid job for an axe. That's not where that goes. 19 and 18. I bought it. So that's 22 points of lethal how, damage. Ooh, how does Renan back. bring him down? Oh, cleave his face into. <laughs> I'll do it. Well, that, that his face someone. is indeed cleaved in twain. This kills the man. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> nice. Well, let me just cross this um, nerd off. And I'm gonna use my second wind. Ooh. Are you hurt? Yep. Everyone hurt. Um, I was down to nearly half, but with the temp HP, I'm good. Oh shit! Yeah, temp HP. I'm not gonna sacrament. Never mind. Are you ready? Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, just Brisbane. Go. Cool. Um, I'm gonna move up to he here. Yeah. I'm gonna attack number four twice. Go for it, buddy. He's already got like 17 daggers sticking out of him. <laughs> 14 and 12. You, you, missed, you, <laughs> you missed. I know. Oh. For fuck's sake, man. It's all the blood. It made you like, you know. Blood. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Very. My go. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll move up to here. And um, <laughs> is number nine like gone around the corner or something? Yeah, actually, would you do me a solid, please, Andrew? Would you read out the um, wording for that? Like, do you like feel their presence, or is it just a case of like you just if you went to attack them, you have advantage? Is that kind of thing? Like, do you know where they are? That kind of thing. Uh, I don't. It's not that I know where they are. It's just that like they killed my bird, so I'm angry. So yeah, I'm yeah, angry. yeah. Okay, it's, but you essentially can't see them through walls or like no. As far as I know, kind of no. Um, yeah, but um, just, but to answer I'm where they went, um, they went, they went out the window last round. Last time you slapped them. Ah, okay. So yeah, they like crashed out through the window here. Like so many people have gone out that window. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, in that case, I will just use um, Eldritch Blast on number four. Yeah, go for it, dude. So, 24 and a 9. 24 hits. Okay, he takes 12 damage, and I'm going to push him just into that cloud of daggers. Right? Yeah, you kind of like, you know, knock him off his feet, and he goes in, he becomes like, you know. Cloud of blood in the cloud of daggers. <laughs> well done. Um, and with that, it is Amy. Could you roll damage for number five, please? You're fucking gobble. This chap actually do anything with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good spell for whittling people down. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, he manages to get out. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, that's an 18 and 24, buddy. 24 hits. You take uh, 8 slashing damage. Cool. Uh, and with that, we are back to Coda. Alright. No, I don't like him wailing on my friend. I'm annoyed. I'm bleeding a lot. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna spend two grit points to make these both with advantage. I know he's nearly dead, but it's just like, at this point, it's just like, I wanna see him die. Whoa. Avoid uh, that delicious hits. nat one. Um, okay, cool. That's a good thing I didn't, I did advantage, because that would have been a super misfire. Uh, alright. Yeah. 
20 damage. Fucking, yeah, you shoot his face and he like stumbles back into the cloud and becomes also Missed. a cloud of blood. Uh, well done all, we're out of initiative. Well, I think that ended about as well as expected and I just missed the cloud. Nice. I'll just move it off, like, not off camera, but like off map. <laughs> and if you lose someone. Well, it came in here to cause a scene. I'm going to pick up my bird. Cool. Darren. Rizbit. Uh, I want to go back down the corridor and search number two. Yeah, cool. Give me an investigation, buddy. Yeah, cool. Give me two seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna rush. We'll, probably, we'll finish up in a few minutes. Yeah. I didn't even notice at home. I looked at my phone. Yeah, it's got a quick. It's like it quite nice here. It's like nine. Combat. Yeah, because I was like, oh, we're going to be here for a bit. And then I was like, oh, no, everyone's just fucking deleting everybody. It's fine. <laughs> Scratch. No. I, cast, I want to cast delete. <laughs> you you find... Mad, Sorry? You made us mad. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, you fucking... killed our bird, Darren. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, God. Oh, dear fucking God. I was like, well, we're nearly at the end. I'll turn on my phone's internet. And my phone just had a fucking... You sit over there. <laughs> All the messages. Um, right. Um, you find ten silver pieces, Riz, but nothing tickles your fancy in this person's pocket. Cool. What's behind this door? And you will have one. to... <laughs> and this one. Yeah, you guys have to open it up. Also, Riz, but you're standing in like what looks like an office. Well, what remains of an office. Oh, yeah. After a minor explosion came out of it. Can I search the office? Yeah, man, give me an investigation. One second, I'll open that door for you now. And... Um, you, very, before you is a very cramped, a very badly made um, broom closet. I'm suspicious of the fact that as a broom closet extends in such an awkward, like, direction. So I'm going to, like, look around and see if there's anything unusual in here. <laughs> Spread out and search for clues. Let's split up, gang. Let's never split up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Amy, I thought yeah. you were being serious. You thought I was joking, but was not. <laughs> uh, was that um, 11 for uh, an investigation, Rizzy? Yeah, it was. You find nothing, like, nothing of importance catches your eyes. You're, like, you know, rummaging through, like, not, well, the wreckage is, yeah, but, like, you know, the, yeah, yeah a thunder wave went off here. <laughs> Very, the <laughs> suspicious broom closet thwarts your ability to try and find its <laughs> secrets. The nefarious broom closet empire remains secret once more. <laughs> Can I peek in this door? Uh, it's locked. Will the exquisite key work? Uh, no, actually, it does not. Um, in that case, then I'm going to see if I can help her as bit any. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, while Isadora's doing that, then I'll swap out and I'll try and break down the door. Yeah, tag in. Ugh. I'm going to try and break down the door, Darren. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, when you were like, I'll step out here. It's like, he's going to do a thing. Uh, can I have a strength check? You can indeed. Uh, Izzy, again, oh, you find... <laughs> Jesus. Um, you find nothing really important. You find a nice letter opener that you might be able to sell for like maybe gold if you find the right person, that kind of thing. Eh, I leave it. <laughs> I had the Me. first invention of one of the first inventions I had was a literally just all it did was give advantage on breaking doors down and I was like I'm never gonna need this we have Esme and again it's like well we could have we could have used it can I kick the door in yeah strength check buddy I'm not really good at these things oh that didn't type why did that not type I'm never sleeping on a couch for as long as I live. I'm too upset to kick the door. Yeah, dude, sorry, but that, yeah, you cased the 
this is a sturdy ass. Yeah, I am. I'm fucking feeling the pain the last two days. My back is so fucking sore. Like, the couch was nice, but like sleeping on it for extended periods of time it was just like. Hey. So, Rizbit is like walking up and down the corridor, and he's like trying to psych himself up to do it again. <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. I like I like to think he's talking to himself and like the reflection of a sword is like, You got this, you got this. Um is there anything on the bodies of the other uh he tries it again. God damn it. <laughs> We're getting there. We're slowly it wearing it down. You, you you kicked this it kinda shimmied maybe a hinge was weakened. Renan's kick weakened the other hinge and it's a case of like the door just is like fine and just <laughs> Like it kind of crumbles in from like so many like not the 100% door opens kicks. out of pity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Izzy, if you want to check those bodies, um, give me two investigation checks. It's kind of like you know a loose uh, all uh, kind uh, of thing. Uh, uh, uh. Seventeen for one, and thirteen for the other. Yeah, so like you know, you, you relative in general terms, you like you did fine. You find a case of. For anyone that's interested, they're like their gear. So like they just got your basic chain mail. There's heavy crossbows, uh, short swords, long swords, uh, a war, ha- an actual warhammer. Like as in terms of stats, warhammer. Um, um, a key. Well, like several of the one key. So like you know, a key, and a total of about thirty gold from all their pockets, kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna take the gold and the key after. This lot have kicked a door in. I'm gonna see if the key fits in the lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the door is kind of like open. And it's like, yeah, we got it, motherfucker. And then Izzy walks up with the key and just sighs. <laughs> L. But the key does indeed fit that door. Well, now we know, and I'll tuck it away just in case. Before you guys, is it office? Um. Would you guys like to investigate the office, like, you know, stretch it over and then we can call it there? Because it's, you know, three minutes to twelve. Yeah, is the, good is the office important? I mean, it's we, need to, no, no. To do with the we need to find incriminating stuff, so we guess we we'll check every office, I guess. Investigation. Like, this, this broom closet right next to the office is super suspicious. <laughs> Really He's still very standing there glaring there. at us. Very, we gotta go and, save the world. You, Axel, you don't understand. <laughs> okay, what do I Can I find anything with an 18? You find several... Not several, you find two. I keep saying several. Way too loosely. You find two letters to the, to the royal family, family's secretary. Requesting a meeting and then another one saying like, Oh yeah, you missed our last meeting, buddy. Why is that? Mm, you only live down the road. You wanna, wanna when you meet? say royal hmm? family, do you mean like the Jade Helms or like the royals in Uria? As no, as in the like the like quote unquote king. Right, right. Dagdom. Yeah. Like the, the Dagdom family. So this is the king's representatives missed the last meeting? Yes. Like the uh, Jade Helms were like, Hey buddy, remember we were meant to talk on Tuesday but you didn't show up? That kind of like there's like nothing like um, like hey Billy, remember that ten kilos of heroin you wanted? Um, that didn't show up. It's a case of just like hey, remember we had a meeting scheduled? Like that kind of thing. It's very vague. But then it was kind of like half written. It's not like in Skyrim so, where you find out like if I catch any of you leaving that chest outside that yeah, door with the like owl that marked kind of on it, with the key is underneath the pot in the second room. I'll be mad. Yeah, like, it's like Samantha <laughs> wants you to find evidence on the bandits. You go into the bandits there. It's like, dear Jimmy, my God, that cocaine, am I right? It's under the rock. Signed, Derek. Ah, oh, Bethesda. <laughs> Stop, you're so good. <laughs> so, yeah. we can pocket them and then they might be yeah, yeah, later. Yeah. Is Barry, like, so, just yeah. banging on the broom closet wall near the side here or is he just investigating no, it's, there? No, it's like when it's like when Bob gets trapped in the in the wall oh space God. in Bob's burgers. It's like picking up the mop and he's like, you believe me, mop, don't you? He's got a little nightlight. Cool guys, right, should we leave it there? We've got some odd documents, some losses, some kills all around an eventful game. So yeah. yeah. Well done to all played. Great rolls, great fucking damage. Dear fucking god. Beam. Good I'm, job, guys. I'm definitely taking Cloud of Daggers next time I play a cast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But yeah, guys, well done. Well done all. I'm gonna 
sign off and go to Eddie Bye. Yeah, me too. Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, good game. Good night, guys. Uh, good night. All right, night, guys. Well done. Well played out. Good night, stream. Good, good night, stream. Good, good night. night. Good Come night. On. See you next week. Same rat time, same rat good. channel. And good night, room closet. Yeah, boy. Good, good night, night, room closet. Good night. Room closet.